Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. I'm Jimmy Fantastic and my, I am a fighter, crossbow expert, sharpshooter. Um, I am the law. There you go. How? And, and according to JFW, you're freaking ripped as hell too. Of course. <laughs> Hello everybody, I am Ellie the Nom, a level 4 rock gnome cleric of the life domain, and I am not ripped as hell. <laughs> I oh. am Dale Quist, uh, and I'm playing Floral Snarp, a goblin king, who's uh, also the best living sorcerer in the land. <laughs> wow, huge claims. I'm uh, Dimitriov, uh, I am the X-Man. And I'm a human fighter, and I do all the hard work around here. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, we're ready to go? Yep. Okay, so when last we left our intrepid adventures, right? So you um, last episode, we went into the town. We went back to the town of Victor. We did a little bit of housekeeping back there. Um, met some more of the uh, non-player characters around that area. Miss Peltree, um... I think there was somebody else. I'd have to go back and think about it. But uh, you also found out that uh, that little Jimmy is indeed an orphan, does not have a mother and father, as Kalon uh, informed mm. you all. That was a very interesting um, uh, detail. And I'll, I'll have you note that Jim didn't even bat an eye twice after he sent him packing <laughs> down the road. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. uh, you you then return you then return back to the manor. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. We uh, we also had Elliot. Elliot found out some um, of some very sad information about his uh, his mentor and very very good friend, and has met. Um, I shouldn't say met. He he had met him before, but has has uh, has had a better introduction to another member of his uh, of his uh, artist artisan guild. Um, in, in, in finding out that his uh, master and mentor has unfortunately passed away of natural of, of gnome causes <laughs> natural 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 gnome natural gnome <laughs> gnome causes and uh, left Elliot with some uh, some of his most personal belongings. Mm -hmm. You all went back to Tillich Manor. You went down into the second level. Congratulations! It only took you five weeks to get down into the second <laughs> level of the catacombs. <laughs> And you encountered your first fight. A re I don't want to say it was easy, but it was a. It, you all went relatively unscathed. Mm. Um, and now we find ourselves at the at where you left off. So, take it away. Yep. Uh, one second. I'll, I'll be AFK. Carry on without me. What are these? Um, <laughs> what are these red crystal things? Okay. So these crystals are. are they're giving off. They don't look natural. Meaning. They don't look like they've either grown out of the ground, been discovered in the earth and then tunneled around, anything like that. They're natural in that they're crystals. Um, but they are they have been placed where they've been placed and they're giving off an unnatural red glow. It's almost as if it is, you're not sure if it's a, a symbolic thing, if it's a cultish thing, or if they're just there for lighting. Can I, but can they I... are, they're quite large, they're quite heavy. Um, in fact, if you were to go over and try to move one of them, you'd find out that even even yourself, Demetri, of a quite strong individual, you'd have to make some concerted effort even to nudge them. Using my knowledge of the holy and of and of geology, can I make an insight check into the absolutely without the a doubt crystals, the purpose of the crystals as it relates to the cultists? Um... Ooh. Aha, I so know what's going a 20, on here. A 25, that's a very good roll. Um, so these are, let's see, what, what would you know them as from your perspective? So these are natural occurring crystals. Um, they do bear, well, they don't bear, there's a, there's a natural magic to them, if you will. There's not, they're not an enchanted item. They're not something created by a wizard, by a cleric, by a god to your knowledge. <clears throat> but they are a natural occurring, naturally magical type of stone that is found within the earth. Um, these are very, very valuable for their ability to both light up areas and potentially for other uses among um, 
whether it be the gnomes, whether it be the goblins, underground races and their magics themselves. They can be used as attunement items, focuses, if you will. They can be used as religious... Um, uh, focuses, I guess is a good way to put it. I'm trying not to give you too much because you I don't want to tell you what they're in use for here. But I mean, honestly, if you were to ask me several, if you wanted to ask any questions about them, do, would they, you know, I could kind of answer that for you as well. Are they valuable? They're, they would be considered very valuable, yes. However, valuable to specific peoples or for specific uses. So if you were to drag this out and kind of drag it out in the middle of an orcish clan, they'd probably laugh at you, right? But if Elliot were to find a way, Elliot the Nom were to find a way maybe to get these back to um, Steelbury, they would have a definite um, 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 value there. Not necessarily in gold, though I'm sure he would be remunerated. More along the lines of study and or um, what they could be, what could be discovered from them. Do they? They show are not overly common. Do they show any signs of use? Define use because they're currently being in use. It looks as if they're being in use here for lighting more than anything. Both physical and magical. Can, is there any way for me to tell if so? Uh, are there any physical marks on them? But also, uh, has their magical power been depleted in any way, or their energy been depleted in any way? Can I tell that? Not at all. So, okay. from your from your vantage point, they are. I mean, they are rigidly crystal. They are. They have um, the edges. While they're not sharp, they're very fine. Um, they're, they they don't show any markings of of carvings or hand tooling. It's almost as if the crystals are what they are. Um, they vary in sizes and shapes. They vary in the number of facets, the different sides on them. Um, no two of these four are alike in any way, <laughs> um, from height to weight to width. What do they feel like to the touch? Are they warm? No, they're cool. They're they're very they're um, they're underground. They don't offer any warmth. Um, though you don't know if they could offer warmth. You know, in in de defined by their usage. Again, I'm trying not to give you too terribly much because these are focuses of some kind. How would they have um, transported them down here? That you couldn't tell. There's no drag marks. Mm. Um, it, they could have been found here. Quite frankly, haven't um, we seen them um, like cart wheel stuff in mm, the catacombs? Yeah. In you did see cartwheels. Um, again, Demetria, you know, you kind of looking at them. These are pretty. I mean, this would take, this would take crane, and or three or four or five very large individuals to move these, right? So, or a horse, possibly a horse. You know, but again, you're going to be dragging that, right? You're not. There's no drag marks present. No, I meant like a horse and cart, like as in. No, no, no. I know, but I mean to get them <clears throat> like off of the back of a wagon, like if like let's 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 propose that they utilized a, a cart to get them in here, right? Yeah. So they had them carted. They would have to get them off of that cart somehow, and in position. There's no drag marks, mm -hmm. as if they were placed and set up, set up. Does that make sense? Uh, right. So magic. So, they look like they're buried. Possibly, the Jim. That's telekinesis, Kyle. <laughs> Excuse me. Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Not at all. They're placed on top of the on top of the stone. Now remember, down here, this second level, it's not as earthen as the level above. This is more rocky, more hewn, more stone-faced than the level above you. When you ju you just said placed. Like, is that precise as in they have been placed or that's that would be your assumption again because it doesn't look like they were chipped around right the the the, the cave network here looks very naturally hewn and again there's no if these were found down here they were found quite 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 some time ago when the when the caves were founded or carved out whatever that that process may have been or they were moved here by other magical or musculature i guess is the best way to put it means well my guess friends is that these artifacts 
are the cause for the cultists to, to be operating this area and that uh, maybe they were they were not placed here by the cultists but you know that there are why the cultists are here they're using them for some means perhaps we we know the cultists were bringing bodies down as well right perhaps that's what the carts were being used for and and daka you notice immediately and you you noticed this before this but the minute that elliot says that about you know maybe the purpose there's no signs of of um of blood here other than the blood that was just shed there's no signs of you know quote unquote sacrifice and or feeding and or that type of activity in this chamber at least um you notice that there's you know there's several fires going two of them um there's blankets where there are um hay stacks this hay is not old and rotten this is I don't want to say it was brought down yesterday, but you know this this seems to be either some type of a where they occupy, or I mean, there, there's fresh water, or as fresh as you think there is here in this um, uh, this bucket area, which is kind of around the corner from you, Jim. You can't really see it from where you're standing. Yeah, some goats. There yeah. are seven goats present there, and they're they're continue they're they're bleeding. They they they're well kept. Um, they're maintained. Are they utilized for milk? Are they utilized for meat? You're not sure. There is a water trough in here. This is this seems to be some place where they've set up, uh, for for lack of a better term, shop for living. Did you just say the goats were bleeding? Bleating. Bleating. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh. Can we interrogate the goats? <laughs> we can torture the goats. Can, can any of you speak to them? Dimitri can speak to them. speak to them. I, I I don't I have animal handling. You know, we learned story. that about the rats, uh, Dimmy. <laughs> I, uh, I think about ten I, episodes ago. I don't actually talk goat. Well, the way I see it, handling doesn't imply physical contact. It implies you know managing. You're you're an animal agent. Well, can I can I inspect... therefore capable of communicating with them? Can I inspect the goat for how? <laughs> healthy it is and, absolutely uh, you can yeah uh, make an animal handling roll definitely uh, 15. so 15 it's 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 pretty basic i mean they're in great shape right um there are um there are no signs of like buckets in here there's no signs of of a milking operation if you will obviously they're taking their 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 sustenance from the fresh water here your guess is that this is a, a, a pen for storage of potentially future food for the cultists. Um, but the goats are well well maintained. There's lots of hay to eat. They're fattened. They are still, they carry that red hue. We've already discussed that. Um, okay, so here's a good point. Um, similar to the boars who had almost near pristine tusks and teeth, their teeth and their horns are near pristine as well. Mm. There are signs of like, you know, where goat activity where they would maybe get into a little fight and ram each other. Um, but they're very, they're beautiful, beautiful horns. That's so strange. Isn't it? Does that imply they're not using them or that they are using them and they're just not being defaced or, or what? Define using them. I know, like eating. You mean eating the goats? No, 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 eating whatever goats eat, everything. Yeah, I mean, if, if they're if, eating, they're definitely. I mean, in fact, you know, maybe, maybe this one right here is eating from the hay pile that's sitting right there. And pristine hooves as well. As close as you could get, yeah. I mean, their their hooves are a little more utilized, but all of their all of, anything that would grow on them that has a, a you know nails or I don't know or nails. I would imagine it's the same thing for uh, for a horn. So yeah, I would say they're probably near pristine, as best as you can get. Interesting. Hey, so there's four crystals. Yeah, we could maybe take one of these crystals, right? If we if we uh, certainly we could come back for them with a uh, with a mechanism to get them out potentially. That's something to think about for the future. But now, obviously, we just need to go and kill loads of cultists, don't did, we? Did we um did we search these cultists? No, let's search them for money and a scimitar. There's a scimitar there. I'm I'm, I'm I thought <laughs> we did that at the end of last gym. Did we not? We did. Pull open no. your character sheet. No, we literally didn't. Uh, okay. Also, no, that's fine because I remember it was getting a little bit late. So, are, yeah. are these crates and stuff just decorative, or can we smash them open? We've got crowbars, no, there Elliot. Are, there are, go ahead. I'm sorry. We have crowbars. 
Yeah, no, they're so they're sealed crates. Um, they're not like crazy sealed, right? A very even with with Dimitriov's um, wood axe, you could pry them open, but you do have crowbars, um, mm-hmm. so you could easily pry these uh, these these two crates open. You could pry open the barrels if you choose to. Just keep in mind, I'll, I'll just make mention of this because Daka and um, Dimitriov would probably point this out and and uh, possibly Faps that there will be some noise to that, and yeah. you are in a cave system. Yeah, yeah, okay. I tell you what, let, let's just let's just loot. we don't even need to loot the bodies now, right? We just need to clear clear the we need to clear the caves, guys. We just need to get kill everyone, and then we can come back and loot afterwards, right? Yeah, there is. Um, th- that's all. We, uh, that's another thing that I don't role play a lot jim you don't necessarily have to and this is for the whole party you don't have to tell me again that you're looting them every time we can always unless there's something that requires you to like vacate quickly we'll just assume that you will be you know coming back to loot whomever might be there good right let's go is uh is faps's mate got the uh torch yeah, yeah he currently does correct the there. right so we go on the same thing then uh Flagel in front, then Eliod, then then the idiot humans. <laughs> uh, can you give me a couple of minutes uh, so I might not lead now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I so yeah, 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 go. I need to sort something out. I haven't. Uh, I realized that I hadn't done this, and I need to do it. No, that's fine. I can. I'll. Yeah, um, but... I'll. I'll role play for you just a little bit here, Flargle, if that's all yeah, right. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. More cheers. pancakes. <laughs> more pancakes. <laughs> I forgot I had more pancakes to eat. <laughs> okay, so don't move, guys. I'm gonna move you as a group here. Give me one second. I'm gonna move Flargle to where he stopped before you guys made the choice to move back and mm-hmm. go on the left hand and then to the north, if you remember from last time. Yeah, fakely, yeah. And then I'm gonna bring you guys in right behind him. He saw some light up there, didn't he? Yes, he did. I'm gonna get you to there and then I'm gonna um, point that out right now as well. Yeah, because we need to stay, we need to keep our light out of their light. And then, so I, so we can talk about this on the way, right? So. I think what we should do is we could use Daedal, uh, well, sorry, Flargle. We could use Flargle or Eliod or both. Could like, you know, you could use your dark vision. Um, you could, and you could, you know, lure them towards us for, and then, um, you know, because they haven't displayed many ranged weapons, have they? And obviously they've got human eyesight. So, so you know, maybe you could, you could uh, surprise them, lure them into us uh, could be an idea somehow okay so this is so where you're standing right now really quick before you guys have this discussion this is where Daedal had seen um light i'm sorry flargle had seen light in this direction that's not where the light's coming from because I, I know you guys can see that ping but if you followed where your characters were from and then followed that in a straight line you're probably about 75 to 100 feet from another soft red glow that's emanating from around a corner. This tunnel here widens out dramatically. There are a couple of columns directly in front of you that you can see softly in the darkness. But this tunnel gets to be about 70 feet wide. Uh, as well, cheers. Uh, thanks for, uh, sorry, sorry about that. What, um, what did you no, find out about the stones earlier? Uh, I was only... I was not paying attention. Uh, I'm sorry about what the magic, the magic stones. What did we find out about them? Not, not a lot, not a lot. It, it's more that they are. You're, you're, you're just as befuddled about magic, them as anything else and... down here. You know that they've been. They're not natural to this cavern, or at least they don't seem that way. And there's currently no magical purpose or or mechanical use for them other than lighting. All right. As we're. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, all right. So before I head off, um, have I described uh, what I can see to the others? Yeah. Like, yes, I inform them yeah, that you right. see the soft red glow up ahead, about 100 feet on the right-hand side, coming around the corner, and that this tunnel widens to around 70 feet wide at its widest that you can yeah. see thus far. And it's oh, another set of stra- red lights straight ahead as well. So like, there's obviously like what, uh, 
a, a couple of encampments, um, de depending on the direction we, we take. But I say like we we shouldn't uh, go out into the open. That seems dangerous. Yeah. So like let's well. go to the wall and and head a, head off. Do you want to go the, along the right wall? That's the closest red light. Uh, or do you want to go left? Well, Flagel, I was thinking the humans, we could form a line here where I am, right? We could form a defensive line. Yeah. And then... This is way too far back. Uh, the, well, I'm, it's, I'm it, not sure I can kite anyone back here. Well, you can dash, right? You can dash and you're in the dark. Like, you can just dash and... Like, you just need to run, yeah, right, if you see things and they'll chase you, probably. Yeah, but it, it'll, it'll be, like, three <laughs> terms of movement at least, maybe four, <laughs> for me to get back here. Hmm. Uh, okay, we'll just we'll just do the same thing. We'll just follow. I, well, I, well, I like the yeah. Well, I like the idea. I I think like if I lead you up to the first um, column, uh, you could you could hide there. Uh, okay. Why don't you um just steam in and acid splash them? <laughs> yeah, that's that's okay, another um, option, obviously. <laughs> Flargo, start before you move any further. Um, yeah. That's where I'm allowing you to stop there. I'll need you to give me another um, stealth check, please, so I know how stealthy you are. As we're walking through the caverns, um, I I go over to Dimitriov and say, "Do you still have your ring?" Uh, I do. I I, I well, wear it with pride. Keep 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 it on your finger. <laughs> are you still wearing your ring? <laughs> you two could get married, you know, in the game. Oh, we could get Did you put life. rings on the JFW do characters, or Jim? Do we yet. get tax tax relief? No, though. you get you get like <laughs> you get plus two to your AC or something. What? What? Yeah, yeah, just for like a day or something. I don't know. Or oh, a week that's or ridiculous. Being married, what, what, getting married? Where hammer. did you get that from? <laughs> um, it's a spell you can cast. Why don't we? Why don't we just get married every time we go into combat? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that, that's what you can. That's what you can do. You can metagame it. Yeah. Um, wedding. You touch adult humanoids willing to be bonded together in marriage for the next seven days. Each target gains a plus two bonus to their AC while they are within thirty feet of each other. So yeah. What, what is that? <laughs> it's a spell. A, a ceremony spell. <laughs> okay. And how long does that ceremony take to? Uh... Uh, an hour. Yeah, one hour. And then we would—I would require a, a, a ceremonial location as well. <laughs> yeah, you so can. if you guys wanted to travel back to um, <laughs> back to Steelbury, where uh, Elliot the Nom's uh, church location is, he could marry you guys there. <laughs> you could get married. No, no, Elliot's, Elliot's a priest. He can marry them right here. <laughs> He's not ship captain. Two witnesses. <laughs> Me and Doc are witnesses. <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Flargo, you rolled a 14. Thank you. Oh, yes. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so what did you want to do? Christ, you rolled higher than me. Uh, that's not for that, by the way. That's for something else. It's just uh, every single dice roll we've rolled this campaign, you've rolled higher than me. You even got a plus two, plus two, and I still rolled higher than you. Yeah. All that right, so what are we doing, gentlemen? Rolling. So um, not a lot of sounds. Um, one of the things that you do hear, though, Daka, is you hear a, you hear a soft um, water dripping this? echoing through the cavern ahead. Why does Daka hear this? I don't. Because I said so. I said so, yeah. <laughs> I've got to include others, Dadle. Mm. No. <laughs> this is my campaign. <laughs> Keep going, okay, so Ninja Goblin. Blood, gentlemen. Am I allowed to move? You want to be about 30 foot ahead of Elliot or whatever, and then Elliot can... Is that... So, well, yeah, what's the plan? What is the... I, I just need to know what you guys are doing before Dado I'm, runs I'm, off into the darkness. I quite like I'm leading, the, him, I'm leading him up to this column. Yeah, I quite like the Dado 30 foot ahead of Elliot, 30 foot ahead of us. You know, human centipede that we have. I am not a human. No, okay. But, but, but oh, Elliot but ahead the, of us. Humans, Elliot ahead of us. humans are forming a centipede behind yeah, don't, us. Yeah, don't, don't move us up yet, Jack Bull. We're, 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 we are staying 30 behind Elliot. I know, but Elliot's about to move forward when Dado moves forward, right? Okay. 
So, um, Flargo, go ahead and move 30 feet ahead and then give me a perception check, please. Or 25, wherever you'd like, yeah. What was that? I saw something. No. All right. Perception. Please. You're welcome. Perception buys if you were playing Blood Okay, Blood. from here, you, you start hearing the sounds of, of water ahead. You hear a couple of soft, muttered voices. They're not whispering, but they are communicating and they are trying to be quote unquote quiet. I relay this information to Elliot telepathically. Ah, uh, I, uh, my, my mind is twisting painfully, but I, I, I relay this to, to Daka and the rest of the group. <laughs> Uh, but if you move up here, where I am, um, it should be safe. I can't see any danger here. Uh, and then they can hide behind this pillar. Okay, we're moving up. While I scout ahead. Okay, so Doc, are you right up on his ass like that? Yeah, yeah, he said, he said come up behind the wall, right? Okay, from here, the voices get a little bit louder as you hear, someone's coming. All right. Uh, they are aware of us. What <laughs> you, all, you all hear that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Florgal Snarf. At this I... point, Daka, you you reckon it's probably from the torchlight there that you know since they you, since you can see the soft red glow, they can see your glow of your torchlight as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see the soft glow, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, we can see things. Uh, in that case, to battle. <laughs> Do you scream that? <laughs> no. Can I cast a spell or ready one? Absolutely, you have. Uh, you have. I'll give you, yeah, if you want to take a quick action, something quick, obviously I'm assuming everybody's got their weapons drawn, everything's loaded, things like that. Yep. I'd like to cast Bless. Oh, baby. Wow, it's going to yeah. happen. Oh, baby. Don't even sneeze. It's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, who now, now since little Jimmy isn't here, who are you going to bless? <laughs> well, I, I'm only casting it at level one, don't get excited. Being, yeah, it's it's interesting because it affects saving throws as well, doesn't it? So uh, so it's three creatures, uh, right? Uh, up to three creatures, yeah. Mm. So I'll bless Jimmy, uh, Daka, and Dmitriov, uh, and Faps. Thank you. So that's that's Thank four, you, right? Man. Jimmy, Daka, Dmitriov, and Faps. <laughs> no, no, Jimmy and Daka are the same person. <laughs> Yeah, not little Jimmy. Oh Jesus! I, for some reason, I was thinking Flargle. Okay, so you said oh. you're, you're telling Flargle to go to hell, basically. <laughs> I'm yeah, himself. Right. Could bless yourself, yeah, right? Bless us, us small people keep out of <laughs> combat. Yeah, you, know, you could bless yourself for like. Nah, I, I, ain't, I ain't going there. Anything. I mean, <laughs> all, I'm <laughs> doing, all I'm doing is casting heal battle line. I don't need to bless. <laughs> And, okay, and... so a soft glow uh, emanates from Elliot as he as as he as he reaches up to the kneecaps of the four of you, three of you, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, channeling the power of the the chief engineer into you. Mm. All right. So anyway, we hear these guys, right? So Dak will be like, will be like, <laughs> and then you know some kind of gesturing, so everyone knows it's it's go time. And then like, do we okay, start? So here's what we'll do really quick. Open up your combat trackers. I'm going to have each of you roll for your initiatives. You will not know the initiatives of your enemies until you get with them. And that's how we'll have you guys take your actions. Right. Can I, uh, can I, should I go invisible and lay a trap for them? The only thing is, now I've casted Bless, we, you know, if we want to go, we got to go, like, you know, if you can do right. it quickly, then yes. I, no, I'd say all so. right, never mind then. That's one of the reasons, Ellie, <laughs> that I wanted to put us into combat so that it would we would get our six second ticks versus yeah. following the actual clock. Yeah, that's mm. a good idea, yeah. 
And this is kind of why I'd never wanted to cast Bless before, because it's like, how long are we going to stand around here for, you know? Well, we're going, yeah, this we're is going. definitely one of those, yeah. Yeah, well, I was hoping That's we a very good point. Here. So, Elliot, you're first, so we'll assume that your action was to cast your Bless. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, but I can still move. No, no, you can I? still move if you choose. Let's flip and go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you weren't moving any closer. <laughs> oh, I can charge, can't I? I can, or dash, I can dash, can't I? Uh... No, no, you can't. Well, no, casting a spell is your action. Oh, yes. Sorry. Moving is your, yes. Yeah, then, uh... oh, let me just, I always forget what's a bonus action and what's an action in terms of my spells. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I'm done. Um, yeah, let's say I'm, I'm done. Yeah, Dimitrov can dash an attack because he's got the, uh, yeah, the feet. Yeah. I, I, Dimitrov can't see anything, so who is he supposed to dash an attack? No, Are but like I'm just torch? saying he can, <laughs> in, in yeah, general. Right. Uh, so... I'm pretty sure you can see five people anyway. I can see you guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I can see a red crystal in the distance. Should I dash or are we like how far away are they? Am I just legging it out? We have no, we have no idea where they are. No idea. Yeah. As you uh, pass me, you can by, ready I an say, action, right? Tank them, Dimmy. Tank them. Oh yeah, yeah I, I mean you could rush if you here. want, but you, but you're rushing into danger, aren't you? Like, that's the thing. Uh, but we've got ten rounds. Do you have ten rounds of uh? It's ten rounds. Less? Did Elio yeah. end his turn or not? I did. Yes. Oh sorry. I mean, ten rounds is a lot. Is a lot of rounds. That should, that should be okay. enough to end the combat. All right. Uh, I'll ready an action in case I see anybody. So Shit. first, first thing you see that's of, of harmful nature coming around that corner, you're blowing them away. Yep. <laughs> All right. Corner. <laughs> what corner? Flargle. There's a corner in front of us. The corner. What corner? <laughs> <laughs> There's a corner I can see. I can see quite a lot actually down here, the water and stuff. Can I ready a spell as well? Okay, so readying a spell is a little bit different because if the action that you state does not occur, you waste the spell. Yeah, so it can't trip. Yeah, so that that's more than fine. Yeah, I just wanted to point that out because I didn't want you to waste something bigger and then yeah, say, yeah, oh, well, it didn't happen, so I get it back. That's not... I'll, uh, I'll just ready a cantrip, so I'll, I can poison spray or whatever. Okay, so poison spray is readied. No, wait, as, acid splash, I mean. Um, acid sorry. splash, okay. The, the, the poison spray is the 10 feet one. Classic. Is that the, okay, acid so splash. acid splash. All right, so um, where do you, gentlemen, I'll let you, you'll let you kind of uh, meta this. Where do you want the torch to go? Um, I think just like in the middle of us, yeah. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? I don't know why Daka's leading the charge. This is very un -Daka like <laughs> Okay, Elliot, you're up, sir. As Dimmy passes me by, I touch his arm and cast hold on for some reason the bless went away let me turn it back on here cast warding bond the rings on each of our fingers glow as the shared connection between them uh, uh, becomes um, active once more so that's that's um, Dimitriov, correct? Dimitriov, yes. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I, can I? Right. I also I have my crossbow equipped. Can I swap my crossbow for my shield? So Definitely. Does that, take, does that not take an action? Yeah, no, you're fine doing that because we're not. Yeah, we're good to go. Typic, typically, unless I make some type of a determination based on what's happening, switching gear out is not an action. Okay. I right, know I have my shield equipped instead. I put away my crossbow earlier, by the way. Uh, I hope that that's still active. Uh, and that's me dumb. Alright, Dimitriov, what are you doing, my friend? Uh, I will... Move up. And... That's it. I think. Mm. Darker. Right, let's go here. Oh! 
We've only got like. <laughs> Where is everybody? What was that noise? <laughs> I thought I'd see somebody. Okay, hold on. Don't move anymore. You're, okay. You can't. <laughs> you gotta... There's a trap. Okay, there's 20. There's 20. That's what I'm seeing. Some... See around the corner here. Okay, move forward. Okay, hold on one second. Ooh, there's Ooh. Oh, there's somebody. So there's the first, the first of the of the cultist. He is hiding behind the gems. or the uh, the large crystal. Right. So for anybody else, it would be considered cover for you. You don't suffer from that penalty. Glorious. So Daka walks forward, sees the cultist, aims at his head, and attempts to blow him away. They don't blow them away with a. You don't blow somebody away with a crossbow. But Make sure still. you target him. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you did them away. <laughs> <laughs> right. Boom. Bless you, Elliot the Nom. Beautiful shot, yep. <laughs> Bless you, Elliot the Nom. <laughs> <laughs> 17 damages. So one shot Three. takes him right through the eye, putting him down. Oh, baby. That's a... Uh... That's William a, the Conqueror, isn't it? It's a headshot, isn't it? Right. Um, and just because you like it more, I'm using the larger uh, just for you, Jim. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> just, just because I like you. <laughs> Cheers. Harold Goodwinson. Let me let me look. Let me look at a rule for a second. <laughs> How are you seeing? So you still have ten feet of movement. You can continue to use if you choose as well. Yeah. Um... So, sorry, I'm, I'm. I just want to know what the rules are on this. This so, is my fucking character arc, Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> so, they were complaining about my lack of hat. <laughs> so it says when you use the attack action, an attack with a one hundred weapon, you can use a bonus action to attack with a hand crossbow you're using. Yes. You're holding. So a crossbow, a regular crossbow, is considered a two-handed weapon, right? Mm. Your so, hand crossbow is a one-handed weapon. Yeah. So what I'm thinking, but it's it's more it's more it's so the thing is it's when you use the attack action, an attack with a one-handed weapon. That that that's the thing, right? When you use the attack action. So basically, can I use my bonus action to do that, and then ready my action to be an action? An attack with a one-handed crossbow. No, right? because it says when you use yeah, 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 yeah. your attack, uh, yeah, so yeah. immediately the next condition applies. Yes, yes. So I've kind, of, I've essentially so lost my bonus action here, but it could yeah, be something because you else. Don't, well, yeah. I lost my bonus action. I killed him too fast. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. I was just thinking. <laughs> I was just thinking for if there was something in the future, like if you know, just action economy and stuff. So uh, no, no, of course, of course. So let's uh, let's then. Uh, go back. <laughs> daka daka. <Yeah>, pussy. <laughs> Shoot that guy in the head. Duck around the corner. All right, Flaggle. Okay, Is it Flaggle, me or are action? there any cultists doing anything? It's you for now, Flag Schnapp. The cultist got hit in the head. Yeah, but I assume that there are more. Where are we? We haven't. They're not. They're not on the combat tracker. Oh, I see. So someone. ahead of you, yeah. Just I want to point them out, just in case you can't, because they are in your quote-unquote line of sight. Again, kind of around this corner, and then behind another one of the large crystals, you see two more cultists. Let's put them to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> prisoners, yay. <laughs> Amazing. Uh... Get ready for prisoners, boys. <laughs> Beautiful. Four. 
So 39 total points. Whew. Where is my sleep? I'm trying to find it again. One cultist falls down asleep in front of you. One? <laughs> One. Sleep fucking sucks. You boosted the enemies to high level. <laughs> and boost the enemies? Jesus. You have. Their HP is just way too high. Sleep doesn't do anything. D Daka literally sniped one with one shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're not boosted. If they'd, if, they, if they'd have the same HP, I'd put two to sleep. But, that you means. know, then not all men are quite created equal. No, and uh, Jackal has created the NPCs to a high level. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What do you want? Okay, so you cast that spell. <laughs> uh, I'm it. telling the others that one of them is asleep and that they're uh, they're right behind the corner. Um, yeah. So like. How many? Torch. How many are there? I I can see two. One of them is asleep. Yeah, the, um, I will say that the second one just shakes it off. So he's drowsy. Presumably. He's like Elliot in last episode, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that, your, uh, is that your, the extent of your turn, Flargle? Yeah, I'm done. He's like, he's like Elliot when streaming with Gadeinik. Sorry, Gadeinik. I didn't uh, enter. When streaming what? Streaming with Gadeinik. With <laughs> Gadeinik, oh. when you were nodded off in his chalice game. <laughs> You, incapable of reading human expressions, like human. <laughs> no, no mish expressions. <laughs> I've, only, I've only just realised that I, I can actually speak another language of my choice, and I haven't chosen one. Ah, so you could choose I, goblin. I, oh my god, that's what Jimmy has been telling you for weeks now. <laughs> wow, he didn't say that. He said you can. He's, speak no, no, he's that's... literally said me and Dimmy get two get another language and he presumed that Jude also chose it. He said this every t every week for the last three weeks at least. <laughs> okay, so Flargo, you see a third cultist come up around the right hand yeah, side I'm, also. I'm, tell I'm telling the others that there are now two cultists hiding, two awake cultists are hiding behind the red stone. Yeah, see the blood fanatics did. He, so, sorry. Using his action, he shakes awake the one that you just put to sleep. Yeah, of course Scumbag. it is. Um, so yeah, Dadel, on it, on it, I don't know exactly the HP values, but I, I have, in a, in a, in a out of character moment here, I have ascertained that the scimitar wielding boys do have less HP than the dagger wielding boys. I have worked that out from playing, so it's not too surprising that you only sent one to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> in an out of character moment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so he, um, that other one is still, um, actually, no, I'm sorry, because he is first up. He actually had the highest roll. So he will stand up, which is half of his movement. Wait, are, are you standing up the one that was asleep during his turn? Yes, he wasn't asleep during his turn. So you put him to sleep. As he was. This cultist right here walked over and woke him up. He's at the bottom of the turn tracker. Mm -hmm. Next round Stop. starts. The cultist who is asleep is at the top of the turn tracker. Of course, Jack Wolf's <laughs> stupid NPCs get max value out of fucking every oh. mineral. <laughs> he'll he'll stand up and he'll ready his. He's not ready to charge. He he saw his buddy go down with one shot. He's not ready to charge Daka there. <laughs> Elliot, you're up, sir. Oh, straight. In. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. This is what I was trying to tell you, Elliot. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, everybody else gets their go next, don't they? Um, so, let's see. Yeah, there's a good chance that everybody's going to get in front of him except for Daka, so. Uh, yeah. I, I, it, I can only see three. I want to try and make this pretty quick, but yeah, I can only see three enemies. I, I was expecting a big fight, but it doesn't seem that big a fight, so I don't really want to use any more my more spell slots here. I'm going to just cast um, Sacred Flame. Remember to select your target, sir? Yep. He's just woken up, so I don't think he's going to be as dexterous as the uh, the other ones. Or as... Uh... Oh, yeah, no, it is dexterity. 
Hancock with the great comment in chat. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> Hit him, hit him! Uh, DC, yep, so for, he takes one point of damage. <laughs> one point of damage. <laughs> oh, baby. Woo! Dimitriov, oh, I require assistance. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. I All right, hope, Dimitriov, you're up, sir. I hope there's a light source around that corner. One, two, three, four. There's a big glowing crystal. <laughs> oh, okay. As so... he slams Elliot out of the way. <laughs> oh, no, I, I can just, like, walk over him, can't I? Excuse me. Can no, I, you can can't. I hit? You can't. He's not. He's small. He's not tiny. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. No, he's fine. Yeah, you can but move play, through. Play I don't. As long as you're right, you got the charge, can... right? You've got the charge, okay. so you want to move around anyway. Like, well, no, just... no. I, I can cut off that corner, like, because I can just go like this. Remember, yes. your charge needs yeah. to be your charge. If you, if you're going to use charge, you need to have a charge minimum of ten feet. Yeah, I'm not charging. I'm not charging. I'm, uh... You're not going to use your dash. <laughs> I mean, ability. you might as well, Denny. You? you might as well. It doesn't it cost costs... you anything. It doesn't cost you anything. No, no it's right. a feat, Dimmy. So, what you'll want to do is end your your whatever movement. Your thirty feet. Okay, so I go. I. Uh, uh, I was here, yeah. So I can just yeah. charge. I can go like this, twenty-five feet, and then charge this guy on the ends. Perfect. Glorious. So can I fight? Can I attack him from here? Or yep. do I have to go? Yeah, I do. No, no, I do. I do corners. I don't think there's... Some people do only the four on the plus. I, I think that's foolish. Plus, that means the more people I get to attack you, the better as well. <laughs> so, charge... Uh... Make sure you target. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so what does this look like, Dimitri? You you you, made, you took a very wide, wide array of attack here. You you kind of you know it almost like what was it the the predator before he kills uh, <laughs> uh, Apollo Creed where he's running around. This is really hard. Spoilers, <laughs> much? Well, like <clears throat> basically using my knowledge of skirmishing, rather than just charge around the corner i wanted to scope and see because i couldn't see around that corner so the reason i did the wide arc was just so i could assess the situation before i charged in and um, so i think i've done the charger thing yeah you're good and then it's, it's, uh, it's showing on your character great axe attack Oh dear. So 17 sense. hits, roll for <laughs> damage. Oh, because of the plus five. Yep. Mm. I can re-roll that, because it's a two. If you can, because it's a one or a two. So I just attack again, yeah. Uh, no, not attack, I just do the damaging. Uh, how do I roll? You might have to re-roll the attack to get the damage to show, or you can just roll a uh, oh, no, D12 and we'll add a three no, to no. it. I can, I can just do the damage straight away, I think. So damage. I have to keep this, whatever it is, five, okay. Eight. Mm. Yeah, so eight, perfect. Uh, and that's my turn. I don't really want to use a bonus. Right. At this point. Docker, you're up, sir. So can I move through people on our team or not? Yeah, I, I don't, as, as long, so, again, based on certain things, right? Um, it'd be very easily, easy for... You know, because technically combat kind of is supposed to go at a at a parallel, right? Where everybody's kind of doing the stuff together. Um, so the fact that like Elliot could have just nudged over three feet so you could go through him, yes, I don't yeah. mind that. Right. If he was up against an enemy, it'd be a different conversation. Right. If he was grappled, it would definitely be a different conversation. Yep. Still got ten foot left here. I like how Jimmy always looks like he's playing Blood Bowl when he's. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because on the one Should hand, I go here. Should I go there? Is this a GFI? <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's let's. The Elliot's pretty tough. The Elliot, the Nom's pretty tough. Right, I'll shoot this fella who's fighting Dmitriov. Take careful aim and try and shoot him in the face. This this doesn't bode well. 
it'll be fine to me. Um, oh, but... you're doing a reckless shot as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now, that he, now that he's been hachooed, he feels better. Easy hit. All right, so that hits. Roll for damage, please. Oh, wow. That's insane damage. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so you you club him right in the chest, right? You're you found that as your as your um as your I don't want to say more experienced, but as you're as you're kind of sighting in with this crossbow, you're starting to like you're starting to hit friggin' you either hit dead center or you miss wide, dude. You <laughs> there's no in between. Yeah. And when you hit, you hit. Glorious. So now that he's near death, we shall use the bonus action to do a normal attack from the uh from the crossbow and really make sure I hit, I guess. Near the Near death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has got to be. This has got to be the right play. Cause like this almost can't miss right now. Pew. Et easy. Oh yeah, plus the one d four. Perfect. So yeah, that hits. So roll for damage, please. Seven damages. So the second bolt strikes almost near the same exact spot as the first bolt, putting him down. Glorious. That's me done. Yeah, Bliss is just amazing, isn't it, actually? Like, it, it adds so much to like your chances to hit, and then saving throws as well is like, phew, phew, it's a bit rowdy. <laughs> All right, so this, yeah, this cultist right here is going to cast a spell. He's going to cast Hold Person on Jim again. Outrageous. All right, saving throw DC 11 wisdom, please. Easy, easy saving throw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even with the bluff. All right, and, and so um, the, the, the other three of you, you instantly see Jim kind of go very, very rigid, right? He doesn't drop his crossbow, his hand crossbow, anything like that. He just becomes very rigid in, um, in, his, in his preparation and his step. His breathing gets a little bit tighter, though he's fine. It's just he's, he's, he's held in place. Oh, man. Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. Well, uh, who th this one? This is the one that cast the. Uh, yeah, the one in back is the one who cast the spell. Correct. That one. Um, so we'll cast Mind Sliver on him. Oof. So he has a saving throw DC 13 intelligence. Yep, hit the damage. We must roll attack before. Oh. oh, beautiful! Hit your uh, hit your hit your critical damage, and I'll take the the and the. <clears throat> He's a hundred percent passing this saving throw. <laughs> yeah, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. Wow! Uh, there you go. In fact, he go. does. <laughs> does he take half or not? That's. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. You can see it on intelligence save. There were take or mm. take. Yeah, nothing. Wait a second. Okay, so you drive a disorienting spike into the mind of the creature, so he's in range. The target must succeed on an intelligence saving throw or take damage and subtract. So he takes no damage from that. That's not a half. But Dust. why did, did Flago Stop have to roll an attack roll? Yeah. I don't know. That's. that's well, you got a crit, didn't you? So probably to give you a critical. 
It the might be in the, the, in the, in the let's see. So cantrip, action, one creature, 60 feet, one round. So it's assuming I'll look that one up to make sure it is an attack roll. Mm. Yeah. Because some are. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Because it isn't it isn't a simple um, um, saving throw and you get half damage. Yeah. I'll look that one up. The fact yeah, that I mean, it it doesn't, either way he made the saving like, throw why anyway. Would, so. Why why would they make it even harder to hit with those fucking things that doesn't? Yeah. Ever yeah. Do gen anything? Generally, if 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 like if you have to attack, it would have it on the save, right? So at least something's happening. If like to give you two chances to do nothing seems really brutal. <laughs> yeah. This one, this spell was set up um, automatically by the system. Mm. This was not one that I set up, so I'd have to look it up and then. Um, we would just have to retcon that in the future. Yeah, it seems I'll make seems a note to look that to, one up for him. Yeah, it seems brutal to give it, it two chances to do nothing. Seems really harsh. Elon. Four faps. Getting in there, faps. Get in there, Faps. <laughs> Get in there, Faps. All right, his two normal swings. <clears throat> oh, look at Faps go. The second one does not strike. Diced. So he turns his uh, his um, uh, scimitar right on Faps immediately. <laughs> he was going to go after Daka, but Faps intercepted him. Good boy, Faps. And swings and misses. Elliot the Nam, you are up, sir. Um. Well, same. Same as before, I guess. Um. We'll just move in behind Faps and and Dmitry of the caster. Cast a sacred flame on the remaining cultist. Four. You're targeting the bottom one, right? The oh, oh, there's t oh. I thought like I was dead. Oh, but yes, I am. Nope. I am. I am okay. targeting the bottom one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> The fanatic, in fact, sorry, not the cultist. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure because the little dots could be for either when I'm looking at him with this many dots on him. Yeah, no, no. I, I completely... Right, so seven points of damage. It's not a right, da, 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 target must succeed on or take. Perfect. And a concentration saving throw. Oh, yeah. I, I, that's exactly why I attacked that one, yeah. Is that, exa is that exactly why yes, you attacked that one? that was that the one? plan. Thank you. Yeah, not because you thought it was the only one remaining. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I could have attacked one of you guys, couldn't I? Yeah. But that would seem counterproductive to our like, it, over it, it would. overarching it would. goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Does that pass? Is it the same as the actual saving throw? Yeah, so he fails the concentration, concentration saving throw. He yeah. failed it. So... Yeah, he failed it. Oh, so it's not DC 13 then. Thank you. No, no, not the. No, that's the saving throw for the sacred flame. This concentration is different. Okay. Mm. That's to keep the whole person. <laughs> so it's pretty important to get. Wait, so he didn't make it with a 13, the holding concentration? Yeah, yeah he cool. did not make it. No. Yeah, that's weird. You guys possibly could. He's not that high level. Yeah, he's not as wise right. as he is dexterous. <laughs> Elliot the Gnome, anything else, sir? Uh, no, that's okay. Dimitriov. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna move here. Oh, gonna Dimitriov just lost his um, 
Yeah, no, I only get it for the charge. That was my charger thing that I lost. Oh, I thought you lost my ring thing. No, 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 no. no char okay, okay. That was the charge thing. No, okay. your ring thing we have to kind of track manually. Okay, cool, cool. You could charge again, though, right? Like, you can charge. You can just oh, keep charging in as long as you're in case. 17 hits. Well, that's a uh, nat 20 now. That's me. Docker, that, you're up, sir. Oh, this this <laughs> guy's gonna pay. <laughs> I'm gonna go here and uh, shoot him in the head. <laughs> this guy's gonna pay. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, that hits. Boosh. Yep, and he falls over dead. That's what you get. <laughs> and then, uh, same on yep, the... Yep, that's the, the right one. Yep. Bonus action on the other one as well. Same thing again. Go ahead. That hits. Glorious. Boosh. Oh, baby. Glorious. It's four down, isn't it? There might be yep, more. Four up, four down, gentlemen. So um, with those last two crossbow bolts, right, the the the, cave, the cavern goes eerily silent. Um, other than the heavy breathing of Dimitriov and, and Faps and some of the combatants who were involved in this one. Um, you can definitely hear the the sound of the water kind of returns, the dripping, the dropping that's going on in the um, over in this direction. You notice the same, like uh, crystals are located here as well. Three of them this time. Um, in addition, obviously you've got uh, you've got two fire pyres going there. You've got the um, you've got the same setup here now. What's most interesting, so Daka, you, or I should say Dimitriov, you would notice this more than anything, right? Give me a perception check real quick. Let me see how much detail I want to give you. Okay, so combat has taught you that you are either weaning their numbers off considerably, right? Or they're readying themselves for the final attack. Right. This is yep. something that, you know, because, uh, again, the last two fights have only been had four or five individuals kind of hanging around. You haven't seen any of the of the priests. You haven't seen any of the acolytes. You haven't seen, obviously, any of the um, of the uh, the monstrosities mm. that you saw before. This makes you feel a little bit uneasy. Mm. Um, Good to know. Yeah. Could I, could, uh, could I call over Elon and uh, see if he could shine his torch and see if I could see, you know, what's what's over here with this water? Oh, there's, there's just, just water in it. Stop yep, puddle. so looking up, you see um, you see several, is it stalactites or stalagmites? Tights. Tights. Touch, tights touch the floor, mites might reach the ceiling, right? So stalactites, and um, there's crystal clear water dripping from seven or eight of them. Not in a steady flow, but enough that has filled this pool over time. And it's it's only about three or four feet deep. There's no real um, no real detail to it. It's literally just an area um, that has uh, collected a just it's a beautifully pool, beautifully blue shimmering pool as the torchlight would uh, would reveal. And it's quite cool to the touch. I guess we just keep keep going through the uh, through the thing, eh? Can no, I, take... I want to go in the water. <laughs> you do, or you don't want to go in the water. I I want to go in the water. Um. Okay, so how tall are you? Uh. It doesn't lead feet. anywhere, though, does it? <laughs> three feet tall. He's just having a bath. Oh. 
Okay, so <laughs> splash of water. I'm going swimming. I'm going swimming. You're going swimming okay, in the so, middle of it. Hold on, hold on a sec here. So <laughs> you could I mean this is only this is about three to four feet deep, so you could easily get under the water here if you so choose. Yeah, I wanna go and search under the water and see if there's anything under the water. Oh, okay. Nothing more than, than several pebbles, several rocks. It's got the same rocky feel as the rest of the cavern. Um, it just it looks as if it's just a location that has collected water over time. Do I find a particularly shiny rock? Did you did you want to make a like a perception check itself? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at Jim's laughing. <laughs> I was just thinking. I was just thinking of uh, the 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 rocks on it, the pet rock from the. Uh, from okay, the so one. you don't notice anything specific other than you know you 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 rub your little goblin hands across the bottom here and there, feeling it. It's very smooth in the water, as you would expect from from uh, from a, a location like this. Um, it's not really. There's not really any areas deep enough to to maintain secret doors, secret. Anything like that, right? It's you, you would expect if there was something hidden below, it'd be much, much deeper. All right. If so, that's what you were looking for, I'm assuming that's what you were kind of. Yeah, just in general, see if I could find anything interesting. So, yeah, there's no, there's no, it, it's literally, it, it's a pool of, of beautiful, pristine water. And it's quite refreshing as you swim through it, to be to be honest with you. You, you know, you've had the, the sweat of a few combats in, in your. Uh, in your last 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and, and you, you feel you're, you're, you're wet now, you're drenched, but but you do feel much, much refreshed. Yeah. <laughs> I like how, um, like how Blago just jumps restoration. inside worms, jumps in water. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm noticing that these cultists seem to be sleeping near the crystals. Hmm. Because like they've got beds here and they have beds in the other one. I don't know if it's like giving them some sort of like regen or something or making them stronger. Or... Like the, the crystals are red, and the worms yes. are red, and the goats are red. And the goats are red, and the, and the robes are red, are red. Yeah. and the carrots are red. Maybe <laughs> carotene. <laughs> yes. Have you, have you, have you seen have you seen carrots yet, Daka? <laughs> we haven't seen any. No. You have not seen any if carrots eat, yet. If you eat too many carrots, you actually turn a shade of orange. Is oh, that true? Damn. It's close. Yeah. It's close. No, it's not. <laughs> it's true. Have you ever seen Arrested Development, Jack? I've I've never seen Arrested Development. Oh my God, you have to. Watch like it's in the person or the TV show? The TV show. <laughs> right. Should we? Um, is there anything anyone wants to do here, or are we going to press? No, on? We, we can. We can. We can loot the bodies at the end, right? Let's just press forward, and and, and obviously the crates and everything. We can have a look at all that later. We've got to. We've got to press on. And find these scumbags. There are cultists to slay. Mm. So I'm just going to wipe my uh, axe blade on the cloth of this dead cultist, so it's fresh for the next battle. Okay, I'm going to move you here, Florigo, real quick. I'm going to be the one who moves you here. All right. So you get to here and you notice again ahead the the shine of another crystal kind of around this corner, if you will. Well, then one second, yeah. let me pull the other ones up. That's exactly what I will. So how many is that? Seven crystals so far. And there are two more ahead. Seven is a very magical number. Well, it's gone Don't four. bring the torch <clears throat> closer, because you will alert them this time. It's okay, gone. do you guys want Elon to put the torch out, or what do you want him to do? Just stay here, I guess. Just hang back. Yeah. That's will we awesome. be able? Will we be able to see them in the glow of the crystal? Okay, so yeah. if you tell Elon to hang back, he's going to tell you first of all, Faps isn't going to hang back, and he's not leaving Faps' side. <laughs> I mean, if we can kill them, like, if there's only a few of them, because, like, there was only a few of them last time, this time, Put and the it's... torch on the ground, then, Elon, you dumb dumb. You do want to <laughs> more well, you can't put it in the ground, though, right? If you drop it, it goes out. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, basically, what he's telling you is if you guys want the, t the light behind you, one of you is going to have to hold it behind us. I think we just rush them and kill them, because I, I feel like... These are gonna just be. I feel like Can this I is just. Elon to crack. charge ahead into the uh, into the darkness since like he's so prone to getting us killed. 
<laughs> I, can, wow. I can hold the torch behind. Do you want to take, take the torch? I'll take the torch, Elon. What about your shield, Nom? No, I'll put the shield away. Elon's so useless. <laughs> so how far are they from you, Flargle? I, uh, I don't see anyone. Oh, right. So why are you telling us to put the torch out? Because I don't want to be ambushed. Hmm. Can you all see the torchlight? Yep. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah. All right, go on then. Be a stealthy little goblin. All right, give me another um, stealth roll, please. As well as a perception roll. I want to see what you um, what you can see here. Okay. All right. So go ahead and move 30 feet ahead. And then what, um, you what can I, see... Uh, what, what I'm actually going to do is cast invisibility on myself. No. Oh. Did you target yourself? No, I didn't. Okay, I'm that's invisible. okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Do I have to recast it? Or... <laughs> Where do you go? Oh, wow. oh, wow. Is it actually invisible? <laughs> oh, wow. Now, that is sick. <laughs> now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on there, Flargle. So, just so you understand, right? You are invisible. Your um, your uh, stealth roll also affects the sounds that you make. Yeah. So just be aware of that. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, uh, just because you make a sound means that you lose all the ability of... I'm just letting you know, just be aware of that, okay? Yeah, but my... The, yeah, that, that's part of what I felt as well. Like, my perception was too shit. Uh, my stealth roll was decent enough that I, if I make n noise, like, at level 14, and in this area, like, I will have sufficient, like, uh, oh. No, no, I'm putting it back on because it was on you twice. Go ahead. All right. Uh, like, I just felt like uh, the stealth was enough that, all right, uh, noise that I make at, like, level 14, like, that's going to be enough to alert them, but not enough to me that if I'm invisible, I can still, like, see whoever's alerted, right? No, and, that, um, and that's and that, my that's one of those things. Was too low to like make take yeah. any advantage of such an average stealth roll. That's one of the things that like you can feel, right? You can feel when you're when you when you're in your groove. We'll say, right? It's the same with Daka and his crossbow, Dimitriov and his tactics, Elliot, <clears throat> excuse me, Eliad and religion, so on and so forth. So definitely, you feel the need to to up your game a little. Mm -hmm. All right, do I see anything now that I come around the corner? Okay, so um, ahead of you, right there, right? Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So there appears to be a corner that has been caved in, broken through maybe, opened inward maybe, Um the rocks on the ground seem to be more chiseled, if you will. They're, they're, I, I hesitate to use the word man-made because we have so many different races across D and D, but they're, they're, they're handmade, handcrafted, if that's how you, if that's how we want to put it. Um, they are not, they're hewn of the same rock, but they are not, they're not natural in, in, in formation nor form. We'll say that. May not be handmade, Jack. But remember, not all creatures have hands. Well, I've never seen a, I've never seen a, a, somebody carve rocks with their feet yet, Jim. Though I would welcome well, that. Squirrels, squirrels don't have hands, and that's this true. Could squirrels be do not have hands. Made. This could be squirrel made. <laughs> These yeah. could be squirrel made. <laughs> exactly. Underground, underground squirrels are a thing. There you go. Um, all right, guys, come up. Um, there's no one here. Uh, okay, Elliot, you're the only one that needs that we need to, that uh, the other four can, well, actually, it's kind of based on your, you don't, here's the tough part, right? You don't know what they see because you're not seeing by the torchlight. No, but, but I know that there's nobody there, right? Flagel just told us, told me psychically, out of my head, there's nobody there. 
Correct. Mm. Just keep in mind the glow of the torch. Yeah, so now you... Yeah, so... so not only are you providing lighting for the humans in the group, you're also... You're ex you're, you're, you've created a light source that you don't know the extent to where it stops. True, fair. I, I, I can see that though, actually. But then, yeah, how does he see it in the daytime? I can, I can see the, I can see the light source. Right. Yeah, but like, it's, okay. it's how far they can see it, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, there could be something in the darkness that we can't, that you can't see, because you only see 60 mm. foot or whatever. Yeah, but, So yeah, there could be but, something but, in there that can see the light. See what I'm saying? Yeah, but there, there, could, be, there, there could be something in there that has mm. night vision, so the, yeah. the torch thing is pointless, because they'll be able to see us regardless true, of whether we've got a torch or not. That's also true, yeah. Correct. I, yeah, I just had the all clear from Flagel Snob. So Should I, you give I, it back to... I mean, Elon's still with us anyway, so Elon could have it for what it's worth. Yeah, yeah. wait, why do, why do I have this torch? <laughs> Elon, to take, take, take the torch back. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> poor, poor Elon's skin. <laughs> you put my shield. Do you want me to take it? Do you not want me to take it? Do you want me to take it? Do you not want me to take it? <laughs> I had this voices upon me, pointlessly. <laughs> right, we're moving up. How far are we moving up? The you could okay. So um, at this point, I want all three of you, please, to give me a um, give me a stealth check. Oh, I'm good at stealth. Is this an ambush? No, but I've got to assume that you guys aren't. You know, like I said, they're not. You guys aren't just running around trouncing your. Oh shit! Oh, Jimmy is. <laughs> I'm stealthier <laughs> than Decker, That's hilarious. All the pluses. <laughs> I mean, right. Dak is a bit of an idiot, really, isn't he? He is, yeah. Well, okay, so, Dimitriov, Dak is not an idiot. Dak is not used to subterranean. No, but Dak is, like, le le legally an idiot. <laughs> right, I mean, I mean, Intelligence like, aid is pretty much an idiot. Yeah. But he's not, but, I mean, this is not, this is just somebody who's not used to being underground, right? <laughs> No, but I was reading about like one of the serial killers in the U.S. Uh, last night who like there was a dispute whether he could like actually be charged uh, with his crimes because his intelligence score was too low. That's Daka. Yeah, I'm legitimately an idiot. Look at that intelligence aid. <laughs> that is okay. So, um, Flarla, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to stay there real quick until the others decide what they want to do. Unless you would like to do something very specific. What, uh, what uh, me? I? Yeah, is there what, anything? Uh, what? what I basically don't want you to do is keep creeping forward 10 feet just so you can see what you can see. Yeah, well, just keep. You keep, don't keep, want me keep. to do that. Do, do you want me to do that or you don't want me to do that? I don't want you to do that because we have to have. It's either that because what if you do get ambushed, right? And you just keep creeping because every time I come down to the rest of the party, I come back up to you and you're 10 feet forward. Which is yeah. fine if that's what you're telling me. I'm just going to keep walking forward until something happens to me. I'm good with that. But you just got to let no, me know I'm that. Gonna, I'm going to, uh, yeah, all right. I, I want to keep walking forward until I hear something or see something. Okay, so you get about here. Now inside, now this is this is about a uh, uh, five feet apart. This opening, right ahead of you, you see what appear to be four stone um, thrones, large chairs, um, you know, just just hand carved again. You know, they don't look like the the natural rock hewn. Your floor in this room seems to be of cobblestone, again um, assembled by man or by not not naturally World. formed. We'll say. Um, you've got a, you've got a set of three stairs that move down ahead of you. There seems to be some type of a dais or a altar or a pedestal, and you do see one cultist here who is eyeing this entrance very very closely. He's not reacting to your um, to your presence. I uh, relay the information to Elliot and move in. Uh, Daedal is moving in. We should go with him. Flagglesnob is moving in. 
Okay, so hold on one sec. So, um, are you so the, the entrance is guarded and they should put the torch down? Yeah, so so they're staring here, right? Yes, because we can see all this. We can see the the, the three. Yeah, you can see three. Ahead, uh, you can see what I see. Yes, we can see three <laughs> things. Well, we can't see everything that you can see. We can see the three things. We can see this, whatever this red thing is on the floor. Um, and we can see these three things here. And then we can see this entrance. So the entrance is being watched. It was, wasn't it nice to creep yourself 20 feet forward, Jim, for, you know? No, I could already see that. I, I, it, I was just wondering what would happen if I moved forward. I could already see all this. Um, like, but it's yeah, like... Yeah, I can, I can see like, the crystals. Yeah, that, that's all grayed yeah, the out. the crystals and you wonder, definitely can see. And then I wondered what would happen if I'd go here, and, and it does make it all, like, lighter, but it okay, doesn't so go you, any So further. right there, um, Daka, you move there. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you hear some movement inside of here. Um, Daedal or Flargal, this man disappears from your view. Yeah, but I've moved in. I wanted to move in. Well, so, okay. So this is another one of those things, right? I can't move everybody all at the same time and try to tell you all what's going on. Mm. Yeah, fair enough. Right, so we've got to give the opportunity for the others to move. Jim just ran forward thirty feet with his ten, um, his ten stealth check. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. quickly, I need to know what, what Dimitrov and Elliot are doing. I'm moving. Yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> oh, I accidentally looked at stream for uh, half a second. Don't do that. Okay, uh, Dato, what are you doing now? Flargo, what are you doing right now? Well, I put, told him to put the torch down, and then I move in to the mouth so I can see the room. Okay, now that he has a soft light source, he's going to put the torch out, but he's ready to relight this sucker again. Good. Good lad, Elon. <laughs> I do not squeal like that, by the way. I can't see anybody now. What the hell? <laughs> well, you told him to put the torch out. Okay, so... Let's pause this so Jimmy doesn't keep moving his person around. <laughs> so weird. Right, so Dale, I can't see anyone. So, Dale, now that you're in here, right, you yeah. see what... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reveal some things to you here real quick. So, you see several statues all with lit braziers. Yeah. Um, in the middle of the room here. What you see is one, two, three, you, there's 12 total statues. They are all identical. I mean, you know, from your quick viewpoint, I mean, all identical, right? They're all holding the same brazier. The braziers are lit quite brightly. You, <laughs> stop laughing, Dadle. The others haven't seen it yet. Um, there are two very very large mastiff dogs next to um, next to a couple of uh, what you assume to be acolytes or priests and you see a single individual in the middle of the room who's got a large uh, headdress on that has two giant horns hanging off of both sides and the, the, the uh, this individual here they're among us among us Sus. <laughs> they have not noticed you specifically. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to give you one uh, yeah. one one action of reaction before you before they start doing what they're going to do. All right. So I will uh, relay this information to Alia. They know you're here. They don't know I'm here. Uh, here comes so... my sleep spell. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, so, because if I cast a spell, I will go out of invisibility. That's correct. Yes. Uh, so I wanna, I wanna make my way over here towards okay. this entrance. You are, un you are currently undetected. All right. No, no, no. Stay so there. Stay there. That's your thirty yeah, feet. Yeah. Because yeah. we are not in combat. Okay, um, gentlemen, what are you doing? I relay this information to the group, and of know, course, I. That I includes like, the so enemies, the, right? Six enemies. Six, six enemies, including like a big Minotaur type fella. Uh, no, but a boss man. 
Yeah, it's like the man. boss man. Mayotos are shit. Full frontal attack. Let's go. <laughs> Full frontal. There are two. There are two dogs uh, as well. Dog so like wars. four enemies and two dogs. Who are red, by the way? Red, so they big red, red, big red, scary yeah. dogs. Demetrio, are you staying back? Hey, me. Yep. Oh, sorry. I, I was. Uh, no, no, that's fine. I just want to make sure. I want to, because I know Daco probably would, but. <laughs> yeah, uh, coward. I was already first look. I'm the first one there. So they're, 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 I'm also telling Elliot that they're about, uh, what would that be, um, 70 feet uh, to the right. Uh, like this, this is a rectangular room uh, and they're 70 feet away from the mouth uh, of, into the room that they will enter through. Okay, give me one second here. And those are my actions. All right, go ahead and uh, pull open your combat trackers and roll your initiative, please. Oh, baby. Nice. Can I take the 18 that it landed on and not the 7? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're rubbish at rolling in this shit. No, I mean, to be honest, to be honest, sometimes it's better to go last anyway because you can get yeah. a feel for it. And... Sometimes it is. Yeah, yeah especially that. that on cult there, this last time. on there. Okay. <laughs> Look at all these twenties, boys. Four twenties on there. Or, I'm sorry, two twenties on there. A sixteen, a thirteen. That's nice. Flar okay, so so this is going to be the tough part, Florgo Snarp. So you're going last, obviously, of the of the group, right? Yeah. But that's actually not a bad thing because I would assume yeah, that exactly. you were going to um, probably delay your action of some kind. Yeah, I want to backstab them anyway, like since they don't know I'm here. Um, okay, so Elliot, yeah. you are moving first. You do not. You you know that there are seven enemies ahead. You are prepared for this. Do you have? And remind me, do you have your shield? I do. Have you equipped it? I have. Perfect. Thank you. And I bless. Uh... Daka, Dimitriov, and Faps. Glorious. Thank you, Elliot the Nom. I kind of miss, I, I kind of wish I was a rogue instead. So I, like, Daka, Dimitriov, and I'm sorry, who? Instead of Faps. Faps. Sorcerer. Because I'm not doing any damage as a sorcerer. It's not that fun. Dude, you, you, you friggin' chromatic orb the shit out of a priest last yeah, round, or yeah, last but, combat. Like, but, yeah, I mean... Yeah, it's just weird that, like, because I'd be a better... I'd be a better scout, but I don't even have, like... I don't have the dark vision, right? So, like, I'm useless. So yeah. that's, that's the problem. Like, if this wasn't dark, I'd be fine, because I've, I've oh, got... but you're like, also uh, assuming that every combat's going to happen underground. No, I'm not assuming that. I'm imagine saying, imagine if it wasn't... not expecting dungeons in Dungeons & Dragons. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's on, really dude. bad not having night vision. It's really bad. It's actually really Where are the bad, dragons? Yeah, well, we don't want the dragons. Around the corner. <laughs> there, there's <laughs> the a corner dragon here. somewhere. <laughs> it's just I want, I want to shoot people, but, but it's not doing any damage. So. Okay, so um, a cor so from your view... When um, you get fireball, fireball, you'll do damage. Yeah, Both of these well, mastiffs are like, I mean, they're hunched down. They're ready to rock and roll. They're growling. Yeah, you uh, you put them away from me. I, I know, I, because I have to, I had to hide their um, their rolls until the others can see where they're at. Give me uh, one second, because you'll be able to see them here in a second. Uh, so, enough. um, mind. go ahead. No, I said, oh, fair enough, I don't mind. Uh, yeah, um, so both of these Mastiffs are, they're just, they're hunched down, dude. They're, they're, they're salivating heavily. Um, as their teeth open up, they had fed on something, whether it's flesh or whatever, very, very recently. They should flesh. take better care of their dogs, is what I gather from this. Oh boy. Okay. They don't seem to be... The Mastiff's like... rolled a 20, of course it has. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> All right, so Faps that. is up next. Faps, 
Faps doesn't like the fact that it's so damn dark. Faps looks, uh, Faps uh, whispers to Dimitriov. He says, so what's the plan? Because uh, looking ahead, this is only five feet wide. That's a good point. <clears throat> what is the plan, Daka? We utilize the chalk point and uh, shoot and hack them to death. So what, we're going to fight in this corridor? In this hallway, yeah, why not? That seems pretty good, right? How do we get them to come in here? By shooting the piss out of them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and casting so, spells at them. So, okay. So we're just going to wait in here and you're going to pepper them with arrows through the little crack. And spells, yeah, yeah. Earlier the Nom could cast, like, you know, cast spells, couldn't he? Uh... Flagel, when he when he reveals himself, can cast spells. That seems pretty yeah, good. But... Little chalk point. Chalk point seems good when they've got superior numbers. I'd say. Uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, we could just go around and kill them. I mean, what do you guys want um, really Faps plan, and uh, and and Elon to do? What's what's the plan? If you could uh, just be the meat the shield, that'd be plan. great. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we kind of want Faps. Uh, Elon kind of looks at Faps when you say that, and is like, <laughs> it's, not, "It's not. I didn't say it. That was just. I know. That was just a joke." <laughs> <laughs> but that's essentially kind of how you've been viewing them, and they're a little bit worried about that, Daka. Honestly, they're they're kind of. <laughs> they're it's not. Kind of interesting how that. how. Okay. Too dumb to pick up on that. I, I will nominate myself as the meat shield. <laughs> Again. Is this still is this still ongoing the uh, the ring sharing thing? Yeah, that's for an hour, so I assume. Still yeah, he's ongoing. there. Fine, I'm gonna. Oh yeah. The, the ring sharing. The ring sharing. I don't know. <laughs> so what do you want, Faps and Elon? So they again they look at you, Dimitriov, and, they, and and you obviously you said to them, okay, well, here's the choke point. Don't We're probably gonna want to take them here. I'm gonna position myself in a in a, in a way to kind of quote unquote block them off. Yep. Stay behind me. Okay. So they're going to delay their actions until your action then. Stay behind me. Keep you back to the wall. Daka, you're up. All right. Here we go. So this is 25 foot to here. And then another five foot. Can, Can you I see go from here? there though? Yeah. Remember the way that I that I hit the walls. Okay. So that's as far as you can go right there. You're yeah. at thirty feet. So yeah, unless you're going to use your dash action. No, no, I can't see anyone diced. <laughs> so what you see around the corner is what you see here, right? You've got yeah. the uh, the dais or, or the uh, altar, or whatever it might be here. You've got four equidistant chairs from it or thrones, stone made. Mm -hmm. There's another sure? hallway that moves off in this direction here. And you can hear, easily, you can hear the, gr I mean, the deep, ugly, visceral growling of at least two animals ahead. Ooh, oh, guess no. what, Jim? What, Jim? What did we pick up in Victor last episode? Caltrops. Caltrops. You could put one on the floor in front of you in case those dogs come charging. No, what? That doesn't do anything, do you? That's not how Caltrops works. Well, that is how caltrops work, isn't it? A set of caltrops. We could we could throw one, we could we could well, throw some one. caltrops here and then we could we could stay here. But then we no we'll, we'll shoot them and then we'll drop back and drop caltrops if we have to. We we've could, we've uh, all got caltrops, haven't we? Yeah, I've got one. Yeah. So and then I've also got like a oil thing, so we could put that on the floor and then set them on fire if they come running through. Four. Okay, Dimitri, have you're up, sir. Uh, so I'm just going to move up. I'll prepare an action, by the way, in case, uh, you know, shoot Next anybody here me. I can see. Oh, I can see a little bit more around the corner, but... Um... Okay, so you see these 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 statues slash uh, holding these braziers that, that, that Dadle had meant. I'm sorry, that Flargal had mentioned and that uh, Elliot kind of filled you in on, telling you a little bit about the battlefield. Um, this, you know, to you, this kind of looks, to both you and Daka, this looks temple-ish. I mean, this is, there's something, this is very interesting to you guys because you've gone now from a, from a, from a, a non-hand hued cavern to a location of, of sorts. A temple, a temple of doom. 
simple Zoom. Um, there's not really anything else I can do, is there? Like, I don't know. Maybe the cow traps are just a bad idea then. And I guess uh, I'll just end it there. All right, Flargo, start. All right, what do I see? Who's that? Oh my god. Mola Ram. I have to reveal it to you all. <laughs> oh, what's this? Mola Ram. <laughs> Is that the guy out of Indiana Jones? <laughs> it's 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 some kind of act, um uh it's some kind of uh you know where the letters are all jumbled up. It must be. It's a bit like Moridam, but anagram, it's more <laughs> What, what could it be? Oh, is it Maralom? Ramalom. <laughs> Ramalan. <laughs> you guys don't know who Molaram is? No. It's oh, you guys are the worst. Who the hell is Molaram? Now Jim's gonna oh, look it up. It is Indiana up. Jones. It is Indiana Jones. Oh wow. Well. You know it is Temple of Doom. It is Indiana the Temple Jones of Doom. in the Temple of Doom for Christ's sake. He takes yeah. the heart out of that guy. Oh, I'm literally, it just said it's a Temple of Doom, and then <laughs> and then it was. I didn't know though. I didn't know Mola Ram was Where's the guy. So the, um, so Flargo Snarp, it's obvious to you that this is either the leader or a very high priest. I mean, it's there's there's no mistaking him. Um, he is dressed completely different. He has a fanatical imperial look in his eye right he is just and the others around him more importantly look steel right they don't look like your average like some of the cultists that have surrendered before or that had spilled a little bit of their beans these guys are this is a different situation than outside is there um is there any point in when we were when we were kids, like, uh, and we play wrestled, um, me and my friends, like, uh, the goal was always to get on top of the other one, uh, to punch your uh, fist or your hand, like, claw like into the chest of the other one, uh, and uh, scream Kali Ma as you press, uh, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> as you tear his heart out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, it hurts surprisingly much. <laughs> do we do we not want like answers from these guys? Do we not want? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do we not want to just? I don't think oh. these are the talking Sleep. types. Sleep. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? There's like we could shoot we them could... to death. Well, no. Before we do that, we could say we could introduce ourselves. <laughs> you know? Well, do, do, does sleep work do on we mass? Join, do we want to join? Do we want to join? Does sleep work on mass? Can we join the cult? <laughs> so this is the um... Hello, little rats. <laughs> <laughs> so, what were you saying, Elliot? Does sleep work on max hit points or current hit points? Oh, dear. That's a good point. That's a good question. So we can we can shoot with bit and then pull him to sleep. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Yeah, but then we won't be able to kill him and take all his stuff. I no, would can, think it's can... max hit points, but I've never yeah. looked that up. I've never... Very no, rarely do you see somebody like you sleep a third of the way through a combat. Points. Current hit points. Current hit points. Mm. You put a dog well, no, to sleep see, Fargo's going to tell you whatever benefits him. You just you should know that, Elliot. I'm literally reading the spell. You, 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 no, should, you should know that right off the bat, Elliot. You're starting with a creature that has the lowest current hit points each creature affected by this <laughs> Alright, so, um, Flargo, what are you doing, sir? I am moving in here. What were they, uh, sorry, what were you saying they were doing? Okay, hold your position there. Yep. So you've, you've told Eliod telepathically about these, uh, these, these enemies, right? And then he's yeah, told I'm us. assuming he's gonna. I mean, it's yeah. This is again. This is yeah. that whole meta part. It's it's all right. We're already there. Mm. So, um, I mean, the fact there's two priests, right? They they have spells, and this other guy, he could be a wizard, right? God knows what spells he's got. So maybe yeah. like a kind of choke point thing is not a good idea. Maybe we have to like you know go in and take down the leader as fast as possible. You know, or the priests as fast as possible, and maybe we have to like bum rush them. You know, charge in. Who knows? Who knows what we have to do? I would like to find out information. <laughs> Let's talk to them. Uh, I okay, so Flargo, you you come around that corner there, 
and both of the mastiffs, they don't turn directly to you, but they start sniffing the air heavily. And don't you can see, and then and their, the the hair on the back of their haunches starts to rise. Yeah, all right. So, can I go further in then? Because I have some. You may, if you want. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank God he just took back. The <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. and then you. So what what you see here is you've got uh, two little passages, if you will. Little, they're like little alc. Don't move forward. Do not, not unless you're going to dash. If you're going to dash, you can. All right. I, I thought I had five, uh, five more feet. Okay, so um, they're like little alcoves, and there are small rooms, or at least what you can see, and you can see um, cages inside these two rooms. All right. Don't cage. Actually, I can only see a cage in the left one. But good to know. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, Elliot the Nom, sir. Elliot the Nom. I'm a little behind because I'm slow. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. Right, so I'll. The crossbow is one handed, right? Two handed. The... Oh, really? Uh... The light cross is too high. Okay, fine. I'll keep the shield equipped then. Um, yeah, light crossbow and heavy crossbow are both two-handed weapons. A hand crossbow is one. Uh, okay, okay. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I already cast at that. Um, yeah, I'll call it there. These two would have moved up. I uh, I failed to do that after they were waiting to see where um, Dmitriev had, had moved. And then when he had said, stay behind me, they moved up behind. So, Dato, you see the Mastiffs start to move forward. They, they seem work. to be dramatically well trained because they have no collars they have no leashes no ties but they are not moving too far ahead that's not that's that's as expected the level of training <laughs> i'm relaying the information as i see i it. want to take a quick okay so was that like a bonus check for them? No. This man moves out from one of the two alcoves and is standing directly over you. <laughs> he does not, he is not interacting with you. He is almost looking past you and you freeze in position. Yep, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I am also very, very nimbly aware that should he move, I need to move out of the way quickly. No, no, without it, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, he has heard you, he's not seen you, he doesn't know where you are. His attention is, is more on the fact that these dogs are now growling, that they know that you're coming. It's very exciting, isn't it? All right, Faps and Elon, what do you want them to do now? Mm. Dimitriov, they look at you again. I just say stay there, stay there, brother. Um, I'm gonna talk to this guy. <laughs> talk to who? I'm gonna talk to Mola Ram. <laughs> I I hear what Demi says and I nod at him. No, you guys, are you guys okay, being Doctor, serious? Okay, you're up next. Is this be? Are you being serious now or not? Well, do you not want to know why they're here? Like, you should what confront them. Okay, well, like, in that case, if we're being serious, guys, we've just killed about 30 of their men. They've tried to kill us. That's sucks. They've killed finches. Faps is not going to talk to them. Then, then well, we're they've gonna been probably abducting kill them people. After. They've been slaughtering people. They're not going to. They're not going to want to parlay with us in any way. We'll, you know, at the moment we have like the element of surprise. That's Dude. all. Like we well, give that up coming. for nothing. They know I we're coming. I don't think they know we're coming. I think Flagos said they, right they know. know we're coming. He says they know we're here. Well, if they you definitely want to know you're here, Doc. You know they know you're here. 
Well, they don't know I'm, I'm here right now, right? They don't know we're here right now. <laughs> so we, we can get a shot No, they off. think you're here next week, Daka. Yeah, they don't, they don't know. They don't know exactly when we're coming. We've got a good chance of getting, you know, a few couple of shots the, in. The, the, the dogs are already reacting to you. Daedal has, has and the, an individual who has already seen light coming down this cavern has informed them that there is somebody coming. <laughs> Yeah, but they don't know exactly when, right? <laughs> if you just want to walk out and talk to them, then that's just like asking them to cast spells on you and kill you. Like, I just think that's the worst thing you could possibly, possibly do right now is to go out and try and talk to them. Okay, that's when we'll, uh, we'll just stay here and you can shoot them. Yeah. I think shoot first, ask questions later. Right, might go in it. I'll go here. Oh, I can see everything. Right. Mola Ram. Okay, the minute you peer around the corner, both Mastiffs charge you. <laughs> they both charge me. Oh, I, I didn't I shit out by having initiative of 13. They, um, their last action, they readied an action. Okay. <laughs> right, that's fine. I, I, don't, I don't care about them. I'm shooting this guy. <laughs> okay, so the first one bites at you. <laughs> you need to give me a DC 11 strength saving throw, Dimmy. Or, I'm um, sorry, Jim. Daka. Oh, they're nasty. Okay, so they do four points of damage, and you're able to keep your feet. Oh, glorious. Did, wait, the second one bites at you as well. Nice. 13 is not enough, right? No, it's not enough, no. Okay, so they don't, um, that one misses you. Uh, in, the, in, the fury, in the fury of the first one, sinking his teeth into your your left arm or your your left thigh whatever the 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 other one misses yep okay so and daka turn, walks daka. Around the those corner. were the only two who had prepared actions like a complete idiot daka walks around the corner he's intelligence eight he's like oh i wish faps had done this <laughs> 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 should have let dimitriov talk to the dogs <laughs> I get, hello dogs have you got anything nice to say to me no right so <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna say this daka just because i'm a dick right <laughs> had dimitriov or somebody identified themselves and asked for a parlay they would have held the dogs back okay well <laughs> i'm just letting you i mean it's too D late now daka's gonna choose to not believe that <laughs> He's intelligence eight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> he believes exactly what he wants to. Like the earth is flat. <laughs> exactly. Right. We're shooting at Mola Ram. He's obviously the big one, right? He's the head honcho. He's got horns on his head. There's no reason to there's no reason to shoot these guys in front of me. Like a ram. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Pyong. Let's shoot at him. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to. You, did, you just assumed you missed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm pretty sure I have to do this before I miss, right? I'm pretty sure I have to use the superiority dice before I know I've missed. I'm pretty no, sure I that's think how you it can. Works. I think you can use it afterwards. I just don't have to tell you if, um, if you would have hit. Because when you make a weapon attack roll against a creature, you can expend one superiority die to add it to the roll. You can use this maneuver before or after making the attack roll, but before any yeah. effects of the attack are applied. So does that mean you tell me I've missed? Yeah, <laughs> and then I think, I use I think it? Yeah, so. You, I, I, think I will so, tell yeah. you right now that you have missed. You just don't know how badly you've missed. Right, right. So this is also one of those things like where if you if you rolled a three, you would know not to use the superiority die, yeah. right? Because what are the odds it's going to get you over the top? Okay, right, okay, right, right, okay. So, uh, yeah, so I know he's got over 14 AC, but um, oh, how high is it going to be? We'll, we'll precision attack anyway. Um, we'll precision attack and try and try and get him. Will I? Yeah, yeah, so I've got to. I literally have to. Pew, 20. Okay, so a plus six is 20, correct? Yep. 
Okay, perfect. You uh, you did hit. Glorious. And uh, let's. So yeah. Mola Ram, uh, he he looks at you defiantly, uh, 20, right? As you charge. Twenty. I'm sorry. That's twenty, by the way. I, it's not worked properly. It's twenty damage. <laughs> it didn't have the ten. I don't know why. Oh, I'm okay. So anyway. <laughs> Going back to my monologue. Sorry, yes. Sorry. So, so, so yeah. Mol Molaram looks up at you defiantly, right? The two mastiffs have charged. Um, one does bite you. He, You pull your crossbow or your hand crossbow to bear, and he looks at you just as if, take one, son. And you, your crossbow bolt hits him, and it hits him square in the chest. And you said how many points of damage? 20. 20? Mm. Okay, he suffers half that. No. Oh. Scumbag. Right, but what I can do is... Oh, no, I shouldn't do that. Right, um, okay, now we'll action surge. Okay. Action surge. Shoot him again. Oh, that hits. Okay, that strikes. Go ahead and roll your damage. Another 20. He's a tough son of a bitch, isn't he? Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> right, and then we'll bonus action shoot him as well. Oh, that's the wrong one. I can't wait till these Mastiffs take you down, Jim. They're not going to take me down. The whole team can, can get them first. Um, Dimitri will persuade them to back off. Exactly, yeah. Dimitri will talk to them. It'll be all right. Remember, don't roll at disadvantage there. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, no, I remember. 15. Okay, that one misses. That one misses, so we will use another superiority dice. Good. Blowing your wad, huh? Well, I mean, look at it. It's obviously the leader, isn't he? Like, I think this is... This is... Well, it's Mola Ram, so... Yeah, he's got a name. We have to we have to spunk everything. He's got, he's got a name. <laughs> he's got a name, man. If an enemy's got a name, then that's it. The NPCs are like, all right, that's the shit. Yeah. Oh, only a okay, two. Okay, so plus two? 17. That does hit, that, oh, so that strikes. Baby. Oh, baby. So he's got 16 or 17, everybody. <laughs> are, you, are you writing on a notepad there, Jimmy? No. <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know you can get computer programs with that for you these days. No, I, I, don't, I don't. Did you roll your damage? No, no. Um, so it's 15, right? 15 because of the uh, thing. So I guess eight. So what, what was the what was the extra 10 for? Yeah, uh, for the precision. The what's it called? Um, sharpshooter, right? It the precision attack removes the 10 from the sharpshooter. Just the way it works on the thing it, that that disrupts the thing because you didn't okay so that's why i'm asking because you rolled a 15 without the 10 coming off right with with the the 15 was with the five coming off okay thank you okay yeah. so so that's a what did you roll then <laughs> jesus you gotta so, start doing this right jim so i don't have to i'm, I'm do doing this. it right i'm doing right the problem is the precision attack takes off the 10 damage off the damage that's so the where was the damage roll um, at the yeah, bottom five. there. Five. Five, but it's actually 15. Jimmy's added 10 to it. Yeah. Because it should have had plus 10. Okay. So yeah. you can still, you should still be able to roll the damage on the attack, even if you miss, just so it's sitting there in, in chat for us. Yeah, yeah. I could do the damage first, then do yeah. the position. Yeah, that way, attack, I, just yeah. so that way, because what I'm looking yeah. back is, okay, wait, why this, why that? So 15 total, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, obviously, the first time I didn't know it was going to happen, the second time, I, I guess... No, 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 that's fine. We're learning. We're good. I just want to make sure that I'm calculating it correctly. Yep, yep. So I've done 20, 20, 15, and then he hasn't taken oh. that much, but it was quite a good amount of damage, wasn't it? It was um, solid. Right, and then, I mean, I could do a bit more. I could do an extra D8, but I don't think it's worth the superiority dice. I can't back away from combat, can I? Um, so I guess... They would like I you to. Do, yeah, I guess all I can do is end the turn. Okay, so this first Mastiff again takes another bite at you. Mm. 
Shoot. You a 16 or a 17? 16. Okay, so that hits. Give me the, the saving throw. Oh my god. Oh, 11. Whew. No, no, you made it. DC 11, you're right on the button. Whew. Good job I'm strong thank, and thank stupid. Thank God for the bless, huh? <laughs> Good job I'm strong and stupid. <laughs> two, two, two points of damage to you. Glorious. What does that saving throw do? He the dogs, like, when they when he when he clamps on, he's oh, shuffling. His, he's trying over. to drag him to the ground so that he can kill him. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, be knocked prone is pretty bad. So, what is your DC saving throw against? Dream. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's all right for you. Okay, so this blood fanatic is going to cast uh, cure wounds on the. Oh, um... Fuck off. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. You know what? He's not going to do that. You know what he's going to do? I forgot the heal. She's just gone for the heal. No, first. he's going to do something different. He's going to move 30 feet ahead. And he's going to cast Hold Person on Jim. On Daka. I will see. He knows that those dogs are going after a, after a target and he wants to help them out. Yeah, what, what, if a, what if the Mastiff bites a Held Person? <laughs> Yeah, the the mastiffs. So the spell works until he makes the saving throw. The mastiffs get advantage on their attacks. What about on Jimmy's dagger's saving throw? What do you mean? Like Dak Dak has to make a strength saving throw to stay upright. Cur yes. So does the whole. So he would get that? so strength saving throw. Uh, no dexterity saving throws. I think are only affected. Okay. Wisdom. Let's see on the success. <laughs> At the end of its turns, the targets. We'll see, we'll see. Let me, let's see if it even works sure, first. Sure, 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 sure. It automatically fails strength saving throws. That, that's your answer. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Give me the DC 11 wisdom save, please. Um, all right, sorry, bear with me. I've got to tab around things now. Um, okay, I'll, I'll save one of these here. Eh? One day I'll save one of these. Ooh, oh, beautiful hey. save. <laughs> Not only do you say so, apparently the dogs have stealed something in you. <laughs> right, Dimitriov, you're up. So this is only five feet wide, Dimitriov. Right. Where are you, Dimitriov? But you can go around Man. the sides, right? You can go around the sides. No, that's a five foot wide gap, brother. You're up well, against two mastiffs. Were. Oh, fuck me. Well, that's really, really stupid. You're in the, you're in the neck. Well, that was really stupid. Uh, Elliot got in the way. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he did, didn't he? He's standing there, and I, I had to go out past. So I can't do anything, then, can I? Really? I mean, uh, that's, oh, oh, fucking Elliot's gone. I mean, that is pretty stupid, isn't it? <laughs> can, I, can I wait? I can wait, right? I can wait. You, yeah, what? you definitely can. You can delay your action and tell me what you want to do as uh, during your action. Oh, but Elliot's already gone this round, though, isn't he? So, what? How does that work? Because I can only delay it till the end of this round, though, can't I? You delay it until your next action. Which is... So your round doesn't start until your tick in the... Yeah, but Elliot's already acted, so he can't move, can he? No, but, yeah, yeah, but he will move again before He will move before action. you do. So you could so tell, you could say, well, if Elliot moves out of the way, everyone, I will right? then take his position and attack. I'll allow okay. that. Well, I'll do that then. Because so. we'll just say, we'll just, we'll, we'll role play it. You're chomping at the bit, right? Your axe is out. You see Daka in his intelligent, uh, 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 you know, is, is, he's so pissed off that you want to have a conversation with these guys. He's so apt to just get involved in combat that he walks into the, 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 ne he goes into the, uh, <laughs> the neck of the, the choke point. Like he wanted you to, to draw them out, right? Mm. I not like push Elios out of the way. Excuse me. <laughs> well, like, you can push and pull characters in D&D, &D, can't you? Mind you, that'll be my action, and I can't attack. No, I'll just wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. So do I just skip my turn and wait, or what? Yeah, we'll just, we'll come back to you. So okay. your action is, if um, if Elliot gets out of the way, you charge in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hmm. He's going to cast a fireball or something, this asshole. <laughs> So Molaram moves up, right? Molaram immediately he 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 reaches into his uh, into his his bag of magic tricks, right? He pulls this flaming 
um, heart from it, and it's and it's still beating in his hands, right? And 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 he, and he sits there and he throws it directly at Daka. <laughs> this is the origin story of why I always stay at the back <laughs> in the future. <laughs> I'm not sure you have a future, Decker. I'm not going to lie. Nah, this is fine. Elio's oh, here. Oh, AoE. Wait, but the dogs. Oh, clever. Clever Molaram. <laughs> clever, clever Molaram. Okay, so here's the damage. You said um, directly at Decker. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that's... <laughs> So um, the, a vertical column of divine fire just roars from you guys, right? 10 foot radius, 40 foot high. So it strikes the top of the cavern as well as this thing just, it, it just erupts in flame. And I need each of you to make a DC 12 dexterity save, please. Did it hit me as well? It is half damage. Yes, it hits the three of you. So dexterity. Elliot fails his save. Dexterity. Easy. Daka makes his save. Click, click, click on the flame. Yes. Click on the flame strike, Dimmy. It says it there. Yeah. If you if you click on the flame strike, it'll just do it for you automatically. Normal, yeah. Yeah. This is mental. This oh, bird, by the way. I'm dead. Okay, yeah. so Elliot takes half damage from this. Now, Elliot, wait, look at wait. your spell. No, no, Elliot really takes full damage. Yeah. I'm sorry. Elliot takes full damage. The other um, Daka takes half. Elliot, mm. does your does it does it um, also cover magical damage? Wait, does what cover magical damage? Your ring with Dimmy. Oh, right. Uh, a good question. This is a fifth level spell. 25 points of damage to everybody who failed. This is a fifth level and spell. 12 points of damage to Daka. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hang on. So Yes, each time it takes damage. So yeah, any damage. All right, but, so Dimitriov, you take half damage. Elliot, you take damage and a half, correct? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Ouch. Ouch! <laughs> so this flame column erupts, right? Just explodes. And, and for, a, for, a, for a split second, everything is lit up like the sun, right? As you feel this heat just erupt around the three of you. Even the dogs slightly, slightly are taken aback by this. And Faps and Elon are just, they're not, they're not stunned, but they're taken aback for a second as well. Uh, I'm, sorry, am I rounding up or down? You round down. Down, okay. Oh, down. So yeah, you guys round down. I, I always round up for the enemies, round down for the heroes. Three hit points left. Let's go. Four. It's <laughs> pretty rough. Not so, even Dimitriov. <laughs> this, the ring on your finger, on your, the ring on your left ring finger, <laughs> um, it, it yeah. glows pulsates and um and uh grows extremely warm and you feel you feel a slight dread in you as you know exactly what happened to elliot now <laughs> yeah so i'm just gonna pull the ring off and uh put it in my pocket wait oh ooh, ooh, okay. i i i can i talk to him i counsel you against this to be to well, maybe you're right. I don't know. You, do what, you, you should do what you think's best. You got three hit points. I got thirty-one. So <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a healer of great renown, to be true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Blondel Snarf, you're up, sir. So you just saw Molaram cast a, from your viewpoint. So you're doing your best to stay still, right? But you're able to, if you slowly cock your head left or right. You're obviously you you you. Um, controlled your breathing you're much lower than he is he's not looking down he's kind of looking over you at the situation ahead you've just seen molaram cast this you've never seen a spell quite like this yet inside this cavernous it, it almost reminded you of dragon's fire back back from your younger days not as not as nearly as intense but it it, it kind of brings back a memory to you what do you do sir well I want to make sure that I'm out of the way for this guy. Uh, okay, so if you're going to move, I'm going to have you make another stealth check. That doesn't mean that if you're discovered, he will immediately attack you. I'm just, I want to, because now you're within five feet of this guy. I'm going to call for another stealth, um, stealth check. Okay, 
you're going to be able to move to his side without him, him noticing you. I'm giving you a DM's bonus based on the fact that you are uh, invisible. Thank you. Um, well, <clears throat> I would have wanted to do more than that, but with that low stealth, I, I will simply uh, be on the alert of more people coming coming out of these rooms up here. So that's your action? Yeah, I'm not gonna attack anything or do anything rash. Yeah, it should have talked to them. Mm. From around the corner comes another cultist. He's taking his time. He's not, I don't want to say he's like, you know, like taking his time, like, oh, doopy derp. He's, he's just being very cautious. They know who you guys are. Even though Molaram is back here, and that's you know these they, they they still don't they know that death is 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 a possibility uh, for anybody who engages the five or yeah the five of you guys, six of you with Elon, Elliot the Nom, you are up, sir. Daka so says, I... "Save me, Elliot." So, uh, uh, a sure thing, Daka. Uh, so. <laughs> So, so, so I, I've targeted this nearby hound, but when I target the top hound, my arrows are red. When I target the bottom hound, my arrows are yellow. Okay, so, so if they're red, it's because you are trying to fire through Daka. Uh, but you, so it's a disadvantage. Mm, mm, okay. If they're yellow, it's but, because he's within five feet of you, so you're at disadvantage. Because, because you're using a crossbow. But usually, my, my arrows are usually red. They're always red. Except these are yellow for some reason. Oh, are you? Ta I'm sorry. I thought. Are you? You're talking. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I'm sorry. Okay. You're talking about the the arrows on the corners. Yeah. 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 Don't worry about that. It's because I mislabeled one of the dogs as neutral. Oh. Right. And so if we have like a fight with like 35 right. people, you can tell who are the good guys and the bad guys. So I don't want to harm this dog then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. He's been fighting at, at the gym. We'll try to parlay. Uh, right, so, um, okay, uh, telekinesis on the dog. Uh, no, 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 Elliot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Telekinesis on Daka? I've got three hit points, Daka, thank you. Telekinesis okay, so on Daka. If he oh, telekinesis is Daka, he can only pull or push Daka. Yeah. So he can't pull him into himself, he can only push him forward further. But he can move, can't he? Elliot can move. I'm in combat with his dog, though. Oh, right? you're in combat with the dog as well. Also, oh, it was too yep, wide. That dog and you will get a bite at him because things. it is cornered. Oh, yeah, so we were both... Oh, I'm glad I wasn't the only stupid one, then. We were both stupid. All right, that's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you tell me what think, yourself? <laughs> I, I, unfortunately not, I don't think so. Uh, so, where are we? Target must make succeed on a strength saving throw. Oh god, I never remember what these numbers are. Uh, the bull, my. Right, my proficiency bonus is that my my wisdom? No, that's that. Oh so no, you, no. If, plus two. Skill... It's plus Go two. Ahead. Right, that's plus two. I've got that one. And then the ability modifier of the score. Oh, the uh, that yeah, that was my wisdom. Yeah. I yeah. improved my, so I increased my wisdom. It's a DC8 plus your proficiency bonus, which is in the top right of your character a, a sheet. Plus two. Plus, plus the, your wisdom bonus. Which is a plus three. So a DC13. There you go. Which he passes. So you 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 work to... I'm sorry, he fails. Yes. I apologize. He fails. Yeah. So you work to, to... So this dog reacts very funnily, right? It's almost like somebody swatted him across the nose with a giant newspaper, right? But like... A giant newspaper because he actually moves back five feet. Bad dog. Bad <laughs> dog. <laughs> right uh, now I've got to <laughs> I'm gonna get out of there. <laughs> and okay, uh, so that triggers immediately if you're done. So I, here's uh, I'm not got your action as well. No, no, yeah, now, right. but listen to what I'm gonna say real quick. Because you moved out, I will allow you, if you want, to allow Dimitriov to charge in before your next action, or you can use your action now. Oh. You're going to determine when Dimitriov gets to do his ready to action. It, it doesn't make any difference for me. So it's up to you to make a decision there. Um, charging now, Dimitriov. Okay, Dimitriov, your turn. 
Alright, <clears throat> I will... Uh... Now you can only move to there if you choose and there's no target. Oh right, so I can't even get in front of Daka. No. Correct, because Daka's at the choke point. Yeah. Uh, Daka's yeah, literally at the choke point. Really there's stupid. other ways in and out really of this. Stupid. He is right on the only choke point on the entire map. Yeah. So yeah. I guess I just chug a potion of healing then. <laughs> And wait. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. That that wasn't your um, action that you had stated earlier, but I'm gonna allow that. Oh, okay. Right. That's okay. I'm gonna. No, no. I'm gonna allow that because you would have seen Elliot moving back. You would have been prepared to charge in. There's no room around Daka. Your 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 notion was then immediately to self preservation. Is Daka still like um, immobilized? By oh no, he never. He got didn't get immobilized. Yeah. So did you, you uh, take your? Did you take your um your the the damage? Uh, yeah, you did. Okay, there. Yeah. It just updated for me. For some reason it didn't. Yeah. All right. So go ahead and click on your potion and. Uh huh. Yep. So fourteen points of healing now, or fourteen points of healing. I almost said healing damage. What you fighting damage? <laughs> Uh, okay, I, uh, um, back to you, Elliot. I am also chugging a potion. <laughs> <clears throat> Should we just let Daka die and then try and parlay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, Elliot, so... Okay, let me... So this is... Anytime you heal yourself, this is this is a potion. Yeah, I don't think it should have... Is that, is no, that what the plus is not, two this is? this does not affect your... Okay, so no. 18 points of healing to you. Okay, what what's the plus two form? That might have been from the bonus, so you should be plus. Yeah, you should. It should be a sixteen, not a. Uh, because you're technically healing yourself. Yes. It yeah, triggered your plus two bonus to that. So thank you. Sixteen points of uh, healing. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, and I and I'm done. Not a stunner stacker. <laughs> wow. This is so. Okay, so the mastiff moves back in and takes a bite at Docker. Yeah. DC 11 strength save. Sinks its teeth in you for three points. This choke point is killing us. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know they were, like, you know, teleporting dogs in my defense. <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect that to be teleporting dogs. You know, I was going to go in, shoot, and then go back, right? Uh... Alright, this blood priest moves forward. But I was met by teleporting dogs. <laughs> Because you're targeted. And heals Molaram. Wow. <laughs> right, Faps looks at Dimitriov. Because there isn't much he can do either, right? So Faps is going to take a... Um, he's going to take a flanking position on Dimitriov here, just in case. He's got to assume that some way, somehow, they're going to get Daka out of here. I mean, you're standing right in the viable girth, and yeah, that's the problem. He can't well, he's not, I mean, you guys have seen him through this, so he's not, he's not simply going to run away. He knows he may be facing another flame column, but he's, he's steeled himself, and he's like, apparently this may be it. He knows this is probably the asshole that was responsible for his brother's death. He's with you till the end here. You can see it in his eyes. This priest moves forward and he's going to cast Guiding Bolt at uh, at Daka. Mm. 
for a 17. Oh, oh there's that attack roll. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Yep. 13 points of damage. Radiant. Wonderful. Radiant, sir. Radiant. And the next attack against this target is at advantage. <laughs> so you see a faint blue glow surrounding your body Brilliant. as you get slightly brighter on the battlefield. Elon moves in. This blood cultist moves right past you, uh, Flargle. All right, Daka, you're up. Let's see what you got in your your bag of tricks. Uh, not much. <laughs> right. It, how does the, the attack of opportunities work then, please? The minute you move out, they both um, get an attack of opportunity with their regular attacks. Mm. And the first one will be at advantage because you're glowing. And if they hit... You I still make damage. the saves. Yeah, I just take damage and stuff. So it's, it's no big whoop. Right. So um, in that case, I'll attack the one who's already attacked. Yep. I'll attack the one who's already attacked. No, no. Hmm. The one that's going to attack. Oh, yeah. The one who's yet to attack, I'll attack. That's what I was about to I'll say. That's him, probably yeah. what you want to do. I was work. I was trying to work it out because yeah, never mind. So we'll precision attack him. No reckless shot him. Whatever. Beautiful Easy. strikes him right in the front right. So you 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 bring your hand crossbow to bear and just plug one right in his friggin' chest as he's as he's reaching up through his attack uh, attack roll. I'm sorry, through his uh, bite roll. Fifteen damages. Uh, I can't see the health of these dogs. Is, no. is that intentional? No, it's not. It might be because I had them marked incorrectly. Right. <laughs> he's not dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's definitely not dead. Don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to. I'm going to menacing attack him. In fact, I'm going to trip attack him. Can you see it now, Elliot? I, I the top him. one, yes. I I still got I know. I'm, I'm working on the second one okay. right now. But yeah, no, I can. Yeah, I could, another sure. seven points of damage to the top one. Yep. Badly and he's tripped. All right, he's tripped. So now, he make okay, okay, so that throw. is what is it? A strength saving throw? Yes. Yeah. Strength saving throw. And what is the DC on that? No, I I imagine it's probably the same as Elliot, so it's probably fourteen. So it's going to be different for you because he adds his wisdom based on his feet. Yeah, so it'll be my This dex. is not a feat. Yeah, it'll be my dex. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be 14. Honestly. I'm pretty sure. It's, it's probably at least an 11, so we're going to say that he fails that and trips. Yeah, I'm almost certain it's a 14, honestly. Which um, means he can't do an attack of opportunity, right? Yeah, so if he's prone, he can't attack me, right? Of opportunity, no, so if so, prone can attack, but they attack with disadvantage. Right. So it says right there. Let's see. The prone creature's only movement is to crawl unless it stands up. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls. So if he was the first one to attack you, your advantage would negate his disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Or vice versa. Yeah. I'll just I'll just shoot him then. Right. So then bonus action, we will shoot him again. Oh, I saw that one coming. Go ahead and roll, <laughs> roll for damage. And, uh, and that's, he's a goner. Cheers. I could have just killed these. I'm going to say this. I mean, it, he looks at you, he's about ready to get up, he's about ready to, to chump, and I mean, by the slimmest of margins, he falls over dead. Mm, I should have had an advantage there, I just forgot, but never mind. Right, um, so... Now I'll move then. And he can attack me, whatever. Whatever. Okay, travel. don't move out yet because I may pull you down. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, well, I'll move back. I mean, I'll move them back. You won't knock me down, it's alright. Dak is strong. Strong and stupid. Easy. So, 16 hits, Riaz? 
Yep. Okay, strength saving throw for me. I rolled a 20. All together. Oh, wrong button. Hold on. Damage comes in at seven points of damage to you as you pull away from him. Nice. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Choose. All right. Uh, done. Uh, I'll second win. When, when can I second win? Any time? Or is it yeah, I believe you can action? do that at any time. Yeah, that's a bonus action, I believe. Or no, if you already used your... See if it's a bonus action. If it's a bonus action, you already used your bonus action yeah, to attack. Yeah, yeah, it's a bonus action. Yeah, it's a bonus okay, action. Okay, so then, yeah, you can't second win yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and let me make sure that you... Yeah, you don't have that um, the, the glowing on you anymore. <laughs> Dimitriov, you're up. Well, like, I don't know what to do, because I don't really want to be in the same position Jim was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to be now. I don't now, blame now you. Now we've got the space, right? Now now we can have, like, four versus two or whatever in a fight. The problem is this guy casting level five spells at us. <laughs> yeah, but I can't move, attack, and then move back. Oh, can I? I can move. If I don't use all of my movement, I can move and attack and then come back with the rest of As long of as you movement. kill it, yeah, but I mean, you're not going to kill it yeah. in one hit. No, that's true. Can I like go past it and run it in? Oh, I guess you don't want me in the room anyway. I don't know what to do. Throw a handcock at it. Have a potion. <laughs> feed Throw me a potion. Handcock. Throw I'm a handcock cool. at it I'm, and, I'm and not, feed I'm me not, a potion. I'm not, I'm, not hurt. I'm not really that hurt. Oh Eddie, wow! Look at this. Man. You could feed me Daka a potion. Even, Doc is like, please put your. He's like Flargle. Heal me. Heal me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm on. Th I'm on six health. So I think that's quite reasonable. <laughs> You're on six. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's quite reasonable to ask for healing on six health. Mm. One action. Yeah, so I can use my Hancock as my main action, right? And then it's not even a bonus action, right? So That's correct, yeah. That's that's still a weapon that you're allowed to use, absolutely. Okay. So I'll just throw my Hancock at him. I've only got one though, haven't I? Yep, you've got the you left the other one with mispelled tree. All right, so that strikes. Roll for damage and then roll for your recovery, your dexterity check. I mean, you, you could heal me, otherwise I'll just die to this spell if he casts another spell. <laughs> uh, hold on. Wait, dexterity. Well, that's his, so that's his action. He just threw his um, Hancock. Yeah, but it could be a bonus action. Uh, save it, right? Okay, so you recover uh, the Hancock from him. And then, Thing. I what like I've just got to give. Can I give Jim a potion as a bonus action or not? I've only got one potion left. To be fair, I've it got, is an I've action, not a bonus action. Yeah, but okay. you could bonus action the the Hancock, right? And then main action the the. No, I'm not going to do that. Potion. I'm going to save. I'm going to okay. save. No, the the Hancock, the bonus action is if he spends a superiority die. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. right. So he's right. got to strike first. Okay, okay, okay. I get it now. Yeah, so that's my turn then, I guess. Oh, well. Okay, so from inside the cavern, right, inside the temple area, Mola Ram starts laughing maniacally. <laughs> I mean, his laugh is deep, and it's just... He's taunting you at this point. And, and all you hear him scream is, so these are the ones who were able to take out so many? These are the ones? <laughs> or what, what was it from the Warriors? Warriors, <laughs> come out to play. So he, um, <laughs> so, so he looks up um, and he's going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Let me find it. That's going to be his total action for this turn. Flargo Snarp, you're up, sir. Now, um, keep in mind, nobody is aware of where you're at right now. So, so, sorry, so can we not see the spiritual weapon? I'm going to pull it out. Way? I just wanted to get forward because this is this is just to keep it moving. Okay, okay. 
It's gonna be right here. Okay, okay. What's the cult is doing back there to the left of him? Which one? The one to the left of me. The one behind yeah, you? It, he just came out of the room. Yeah, he came out of the room. He doesn't he doesn't see you, doesn't know you're there to your knowledge. He's not acknowledging you at all, we'll say. Can I wait till he moves past me to do with something? Yeah, you can you can um you can declare that your action is once he moves past me, then I will X. Yeah. Yeah. So once he moves past me and into the big room, I want to spread caltrops here and move further in the hallway. Oh yeah, he could have thrown caltrops okay. to me. So if you if you drop caltrops, <laughs> there will be noise from that. I'm not saying he'll see you, but there will be noise from that. All right. Can I put up uh, instead? Can I use my? Do I have like? Uh, I have like a string uh, that I can put up between these two walls, like between these two door openings, as a tripwire instead. Then. There's nothing to to like secure it to, if you will. These are these are columns. There is no doors on these. These entrances, if that makes sense. Yeah. All right. I'll just uh, wait till he uh, moves into the next room to move further into the corridor. Then. Okay, so your action is what then? He moved the minute he moves past you, the minute he gets ten feet past you. Yeah, into the next room. I move further in here. Yeah. You could. Where is in here? Tell me what you're doing. I don't want you to. <laughs> I need to know what you're gonna do. What? I'm. I'm. I don't want. I just want to move further in and inspect, like, to see if there's more cultists in here. Okay, so you're gonna move ten feet, five feet, thirty feet. Yeah, I want to like move ten feet in to check the the cages that I can see. Okay, the edges okay, of. perfect. Thank you. Just so, yeah. and then all right. I want to proceed after that. Okay, so are you gonna? Are you? You have to. Okay, if you are delaying your action, you need to tell me what you're doing with your full action. Yeah, the 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 first set is to just move ten feet and inspect the first two rooms. Okay, and then you're stopping there. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so he indeed moves past you. Yeah. And inside you do see two cages, as mentioned. Yeah. Those two cages on either side. You see some broken shields, some pieces of wood, some flotsam and jetsam, some trash, things like that in there. There is nobody occupying either cage, just in case you ask. And no, and currently no sign of any other cultists inside those two rooms. Am I allowed to put up a string between the two cages to use as a tripwire? That would I would take that would that would take two turns to get done. So it'll be one action to tie it off to this cage. Then your next yeah. turn, you would move to this cage and tie it off. Right. I'll, think, I'll think about it while uh, the next turn's happening. Elliot the Numb. Uh, having having witnessed Daka's savaging by the Mastiffs, I realize just how just how serious the situation is, and I invoke uh, the my, my deity. I withdraw my holy symbol and I say, Chief Engineer, I beseech you, grant me the heartbeat of courts to restore the vigor of my allies. Uh, and um, right, so I get twenty points of healing with that. Uh, how? What? What's your? What's your health, Dagger, and what's your max health? Uh, my health is six, and my max health is forty-four. Okay, so I can only go up to twenty-two. So you get uh, sixteen yep. points of healing. Thank you. And I'll spend one on myself. To take up to twenty. I don't think anybody else is below half hit points, right? Is 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 Faps below half hit points? Faps is currently uninjured. No, Faps is injured. 
Oh, I'm sorry. He was injured from last combat. Oh, I, yeah. I, I'm he, from he, two combats ago. I, I just not bothered healing him. Yeah. <laughs> he is uh, 23. No, he has 23. I'll let you guys know. I don't mind telling you about them either. He has 23 of 39 left. So yeah. he is, he's over half. It's just I can only heal people up to 50%. So I assume I get to know who I can heal before, you know, before I spend them. But anyway, I spent them all. I, we can't hit anybody else now. Uh, and then I, I'm going to poke my nose forwards a bit. Uh, I'm not very fast, though. So, so that's your action. You have your bonus action and your movement, obviously. I do, I do. And so I cast... Spiritual Weapon. Um, hmm. And I decide... Oops. I decided it's probably best to try and pick off the weaker targets first. Uh, I mean, I guess we just go for the dog, right? Where's my... Uh, where, did I, where did I place it? Did I place it? Can I place it uh, there, please? Yeah, you tell me where to place it and I'll put it out for you. And just next to this dog. Okay, now this is one of those situations where I had to use one of yours, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you mean for his? Yeah, because yeah. The, the spiritual weapon doesn't activate correctly for some reason other than the one that I made for you. Yeah, sure. Uh, and then I attack the dog with a weapon. Which I believe is part of the bonus action. Um, yeah, yeah, you create a weapon. Go ahead, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, yep. It, so it appears behind him, the, the, the little cog spinning in the air and, and, and swoops down to try to knock him in the back of his skull, perhaps. But he is able to definitely dodge out of the way. Mm -hmm. Trying to decide how well this Mastiff would be. I'm going to say he's seen, you know what, he's usually very, very well trained. But this is the heat of combat. This is, he's going to charge in. And he's going right after Faps. So his bite misses Faps. Blood Priest. He moves his 30 feet. And he sees Dimitriov there on the corner. He's going to cast his Guiding Bolt at Dimitriov. All right, Dimitriov, let's see what happens here, brother. Does nope. a 15 hit? Okay, so the 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 guiding bolts, um, it, you're, you're you're slightly hidden around the corner, right? Thing comes over the dog's head and misses you just barely. Faps immediately swings at the dog. Yes. First miss. Second miss. Disgusting. Flip save, faps. We're gonna get like done by one dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but the the two priests being able to heal the indestructible guy is pretty bad. Uh, we gotta kill him, aren't we? Mm. This priest now, these guys are getting friggin' cocky, right? You guys have pulled back. Yes, one of their animals is dead, but you're moving backwards. They saw Mullah Ram has really, he's gotten them to steal themselves. And he is going to cast Spiritual Guardians on himself. Where's that? It's really good. That's what Elliot will be casting one day. <laughs> so, 
Um, anybody with that that comes within that that he determines to be damaged will take damage roll versus a DC 13 wisdom save. Elon immediately goes after the dog. He misses. This blood cultist moves there and then uses his dash action. And he, and, he, and he puts himself right up against the wall. Daka, you're up. Right, so it's the top one that's cast Spirit Guardians, right? Yeah, the top one is is, is the one that's currently circled, yes. Yep, right. I'll, I'll take aim and shoot at him. With Reckless Shot? Yep. Oh, I saw the eight again. That hits. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, 20 damages. And uh, we'll attempt to uh, break his concentration. <laughs> That's correct, isn't it? What is his... Okay, there it is. Yep, it does drop. Glorious. See, not as stupid as he looks, Daka. <laughs> um... Wow, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any consoling what, what happened at the start of this engagement. He didn't expect that, okay. Right, uh, we'll shoot him again anyway. <laughs> Same one night as well. Nineteen. And nineteen hits. Glorious. I'll have that drop in a second. I'm just waiting for you to... Another 15. And, uh, and then, yeah, that's the end of the turn. I guess I could move, but there's nowhere, nowhere to really move to, is there? I don't know why that won't go away. Um, ignore that for right now. I'll figure it out. Mm. It usually drops when I drop the spell, so. Mm. Mm. This blood fanatic. He will... He's going to cast Hold Person on um, on Faps. <laughs> hold Person on Faps is a great line. <laughs> DC 11 Wisdom, he makes it. For the bless. All right, Dimitriov, you, sir, are up. Um, just so I can point this out really quick. This is Eliud's. You can barely see it. It may not be in your view, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Right around the corner here is another spiritual weapon that is Mola Rams. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Like... Okay. I figured you could, but I wanted to point out just because I'm using the same symbol for both. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to kill the dog. Well, <laughs> hit the dog. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, great axe. I take a sweeping attack. Uh, not a sweeping attack, sorry. So I'm just gonna Trying to kill Faps? No, I'm just <laughs> going to attack the dog. Uh, beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. The beautiful cause. Nine points of damage. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Gonna save the good stuff for the big boys. Okay. So Mola Ram moves forward.
and he is going to... I want to see if he can see faps or not. I don't think he can from there. So what he's going to do is he's going to hold there. He's going to move his spiritual weapon forward to attack Demetrio. Right, so that's an 11 plus uh, Elliot is it it's proficiency which is a 13 plus wisdom uh for the attack yeah to make a melee attack just just it just says a melee at oh yeah oh are you talking about the damage yeah, no, not no, the, yeah, not the, the. It's the. Um... It just says a melee attack. Okay, know. so then you're you're good. So it'd be a, a proficiency bonus. So on um, eleven is thirteen. Do you that that doesn't break you? So you're good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, now, now to see what Flargo Snarp does. <laughs> explore a bit. We're all in, locked in a, <laughs> we're all locked in a life of death battle, and <laughs> Flargo's just like, oh, what's in the box? <laughs> Before he charges in and is blowing shit up and killing everything without you guys. <laughs> mean thing is, if I start attacking them now, they're just gonna turn around and kill me. Like I can't. I'm kind of deadlocked here. Yeah, there, there's, there is uh, a concern there. I. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm waiting again to see what the blood cultist does before I go further in. Okay, so what are you? So you're gonna move further down the hall towards the stairs. Yes. Um, okay, are you gonna stop time, at the doorway? You're gonna pass uh, the doorway. Uh, this time I will move uh, to. Wait, sorry, my last uh, in my lap. Uh, no ping. No. Yeah, just hold down your left click. Right. So that's where you'll so, move. Okay. Yeah. So and, I will and that's based on what. In, no, we'll glance. That's based on what? What is My so? Hunch. If what what is supposed to happen for that for you to do that? Uh, the the uh, cultist closest to me uh, moving into the big room. Okay, so basically, if he's ignoring you, we'll say right. So if he stands, yeah. so what I'm getting at is if he stays still and is just kind of watching, you're gonna keep, you're gonna move too, right? Anyway. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so if he's ignoring you. You will move forward 30 feet. Yeah. And Perfect. I will uh, quickly glance into the rooms to just scan them. Um, okay. As I move past. All right, go ahead and end your turn. Oh, sorry. I no, you're fine. We had little Jimmy here. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be dead, the poor bastard. <laughs> and we need more firepower. I think we need some firepower is the thing. <laughs> mm. Alright, so that blood cultist moves in further. And you move 30 feet up. As you pass these two rooms, it's more of the same. More trash, two more cages in each of these rooms. Yeah. And two more cages in each of these rooms. Again, no occupants, broken stuff on the floor. Um, a broken axe, broken shields, things like that. Yeah. All right, why don't we take our can first I, break there, can, gentlemen? We're can, a little bit long. Can, 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 mm. can I lay out carefully the caltrops here uh, without anyone hearing? Yeah, I would say you're, you're far enough away, but it's a five-foot square, so you've got to tell me which square you want to lay them out in, definitely. Our first break? Uh, how many breaks are we intending? <laughs> well, the break. I'm sorry. <laughs> Four. Three, three hours in our uh, first uh, first uh, I know I was I, I was looking at it I thought it was two hours in I, I was I looked at the clock incorrectly 
It's just going to be a casual nine-hour session with uh, two breaks. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, with Daka, in all fairness, you stood there and you know blocked everybody else from doing anything. So it is going yeah, a little bit long. I didn't know they. Could, I didn't know dogs could do that. I didn't, I didn't know you could like hold a charge action, right? Dogs have dogs. legs. Dogs have Your legs. Dogs run? You're kidding. They run. You're joking. Faster than me, humans? Right? Yeah, instant, instantly, instantly. All right, wait. Instant full dog. <laughs> So Instant so so if Demetrius right. has the charge action, Daka, and he said, I'm gonna hold my action until somebody comes around the corner and I'm gonna use my dot my dash and attack him, would that be a legal attack? Well I I think it seems it seems like it's a it's your action to move. I probably, and an I probably action wouldn't to be attack, able to right? I probably wouldn't be able to charge. So it'd still anyway, be two actions, right? Not one. I have but to But even then it was just I didn't expect the speed of them coming. So, uh, you All right, know, so yeah, let's uh, let's fill glasses real quick and let's see if we can hammer this out. Right, we're having a break, yeah? We right. are. <laughs> okay, glorious. Right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll do the second part uh, very soon, you know, on the YouTubes. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.